Hello, cutie pie. How are you? How are you? Wunderbar. A message to all our critics. Ha ha. We did not get fired. Thank you. That's a bold statement. Thank you. All the critics out there that think they know radio. We take the nothing. You comfy? Na 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 na. Oh, the critics thought they had it all figured out. Go fuck yourself. We know how to do radio. Op, op, stay, Owen Cray. You don't know how to do radio. Easy. Shut up and listen. Easy. <laughs> Easy. This could anger people. So? Well, so? I just think maybe, uh... I think Oprah and Anthony what they did. Shut up. Well, yeah. I, I like you did the typing guy. Thank you. I we entertain our fans, guy. and that's all that matters. And you guys uh, keep writing about what you think will happen to us, why it's wrong, why we shouldn't do that. Shut up. We're big. We're big, Buster. Ha, 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 ha. This is great. Sorry, audience. I'll, I'll apologize early. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. That's fine. I got this... Um, uh, Brenda Vaccaro, Demi Moore thing going on today, where I can't talk. <laughs> I'm Jackie. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Horrible. Then your voice will really be shot. Mm. We got so much going on today, man. So much going on. Yeah, I see a bunch of stuff in front of you. Well, I'm looking stuff at uh, Jennifer Patrice, Aniston's... Topless pictures. Nude pictures of Jennifer Aniston. Yes. How nice is that? Uh, they're very nice. But apparently... Nicer uh, than I thought. And she has yeah. more going on up there than I thought. Yeah. I thought she was uh, padding. You, did you? Yeah, I really I don't know. Every episode padding. of those at uh, Friends, it uh, didn't matter what she was wearing. She'd be wearing a <laughs> snorkel jacket, and you'd see her nipples through it. Well... Uh, now we know why. Now you, know why. you get to see the uh, topless shots, and you realize her nips are like, well, that whole area is a nice little bud. <laughs> yeah, a bud. She's got a little bud thing going on. Seems to be a problem, though. Huh? There's the lawsuits. Lawsuits kicking up about this. Well, posting it's all over the Internet. On the Internet, and uh, lawyers are going after everybody that's posting this. They're searching around every day. You got a whole law firm just doing Google searches for her, I think. And then suing whatever website has uh, the pictures up. Should we put the pictures up? <laughs> well, that's what we're uh, thinking about right now. Look at look, look at E-Rock. E rock like like it's his website. Well, don't bring we... down the E-Rock.com dynasty by posting. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't have an E-Rock.com. Why don't we just get like a thousand prints made and we'll just hand them out to the... Like hard copies, like in the old days? No, yeah, let's just hand them out to the pedestrians on the streets of New York. The Kinkos there. would print that up? <laughs> or, hmm... There's a bit here, I'm telling you. I mm. smell bit. I just we just don't have it yet. Yeah. How about we get them done, and then maybe we have uh, maybe we have who, who's brave enough to do this? Maybe we have Danny or Nathaniel with a bullhorn on uh, the sidewalk, going, "Who wants to see Jennifer Aniston uh, topless?" So far, all the trouble that we've gotten into on this show involves Danny? some type of bullhorn. Oh yeah, all right. We'll or see. amplification device. All right. <laughs> Well, no, we should do it. How about we get Danny to dress up like one of those old paper boys? And then he... Extra, extra, yeah. extra, extra. Who wants to see Jennifer Addison topless? That's hysterical. Dressed in like Oliver Twist type clothing. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Can we get these printed up? Jennifer Aniston naked. Yeah, let's get these printed up. Danny, are you willing to do this? <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, I could get a distribution of porn charge. Yeah, well, I'm definitely down to do it, but wasn't this an issue when we were doing our little on-the-street bit? No, we're not going to do the uh, the bullhorn. Well, yeah, but, I mean, they're topless photos, right? Yeah, but you're asking people if they want to see them, and they're going to uh -huh. be covered up. They're going to be in, like, that folder there, and obviously, if they're uh, of age, it should be no problem. Oh. Huh? Well, uh, as long as there's like a, a as attorney as at law, Opie oh. says that everything's fine and dandy. As long as there's like a bail fund 
For me, <laughs> for later, that's fine. You're not going to get it. Pass it out in the church. You're not going to get yeah. in, in trouble. Go to St. Pat's and Here's the deal. leave them in the fucking hymn books. <laughs> Here's the deal. We get, <laughs> we, get, we get copies. Let's start printing them up right now. How many shots are there? Four. All right, get the four shots. We get them all covered up nice in a folder. And then you just stand outside and uh, live on the air just you know, yell, extra, extra, who wants to see Jennifer Aniston topless? And then if they come up and go, ooh, me, 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 uh-huh. and they're of age, then you give them a little peek. Do they have to show ID? Yeah, sure. I, I suppose they'd have to. Yeah, yeah, if it's questionable, you know, of course. Yeah, if you see some old guy or old lady or something like that, that's fine. But I think I'll play this one safe. You're going to play it safe? Oh, and then yes. we get the comments of uh, the pedestrians uh, as they look at Jennifer Aniston topless. I'm just listening to Opie Mason over here. No, oh, I know. Yeah. What? Well, see, the logistics of it. Uh, <laughs> and yesterday I was trying to be all logistic and shit. And he's like, listen, man, we've been there, dude. <laughs> as long as the folder contains... <laughs> the uh, images of Jennifer Aniston. Uh, we only, if you look back to uh, Johnson versus Harrison back in 1955, <laughs> this is a precedent that we are using to uh, have the ability to uh, do this type of blah, 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 blah. And then Monday, you two fucking, y'all be, oh, man. Uh, you know, sorry. You've never seen this, I'm telling you, dude. It's not just a draw. We didn't see this coming. You know, we saw oh, this coming. Man. Once again, um, Kitty. looking real bad for the o a show. Uh, Child endangerment as o a shows titties to four-year-olds that they thought was 18 and a half. But damn, they had an ID and... Uh, <laughs> The fuck you oh, doing man. inventing shit like that? <laughs> four-year-old. How old are you, little boy? Eighteen and a half. Well, he had a deep enough voice. Danny's in jail for that fucking. Seems <laughs> like his driver's was... license looked legit. <laughs> <laughs> seemed like he was of age. Come on, who's with me? Who's with me? I am. All right, can we? Okay. Hear... But Danny, before you do it, can we hear your extra, 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 extra? Who wants to see Jennifer Aniston's boobies? No, nigger. Wow, that's a little rough. Uh, does he have to say extra? No, no. Extra. <laughs> extra, extra. Read all about Read it. Read all about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah. you I'll have to be like um, like uh, John Lovitz. Kind of have that, oh, yeah, uh, that, that old-fashioned voice. Sound to your voice. All right, try it again. <laughs> he, he just extra, actually... extra. Read all about it. Come see Jennifer Aniston's boobies. You know what? He's just, or, he's just trying to be an art. He's an artiste. He doesn't yeah. want to do it the hack way. He's going to try yeah. to fucking be nah, Danny's, Danny's He's doing more carnival barker than <laughs> child. We, we need a new job for Danny because he was mm. the, he was pretty much the king of uh, the assaults on the media. Yeah. This man right here did more than anybody out there. And now that's it. And that did it the right done. way. So and you know did what? it yes. the right way. You know what? Now you, you, maybe you should trust him on it on this kitty porn uh, situation. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what to fucking do. Let him go. Uh, you have to be. You have to look for the willing. So basically, it's extra, extra. Who wants to see, wants to see? Jennifer Aniston mm-hmm. topless or or her boobies or whatever? All right. Yeah. And I then think people you should w- find out though, Opie. Huh? You should find out if even if he has that material on him. Is it still considered peddling pornography? You should at least find that out for a young man. Nah, don't worry about it. I don't think so. <laughs> there, is, there is a law. Now, I read... Yeah, Anthony knows the law. I works. read through the law. Because we, we had a problem with um, just laying out material that could be interpreted as being pornographic on the street. That's right. Uh, can I have my Perry Mason music, please? That's right. Uh, we had a problem with that because uh, uh, we were told by some police and stuff that there was a problem. The law states that you cannot put a nude man or nude woman picture laying on the street where it is visible from a car, pedestrians on the sidewalk, or even a building, an open window out onto the street in public. If you cover up the genitalia or the nipples with those black bars. Okay. Still a problem. Really? Still a problem. That's uh, right. About, Not even allowed to do that. How about the rape dot? The, the rape victim dot? Nope. You would have to cover the entire body. Because if you could still figure out what's going on, even though it's blocked out, right. there's a problem. So if there's a guy and a woman and they're in an embrace and they're nude and you cover up just their genitals, you know that they're having sex. 
All right, now I'm playing the Still devil's porno. advocate now because you know that I you know I've, I've bumped into a cop or two, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than fucking with a cop and saying and like announcing that you know the law. The law? No, they don't they, like. They don't that. like that. So I'm just trying to find out the uh -huh. devil's advocate. Now, if you say extra, extra, who wants to see such and such as titties? Uh huh. Jennifer Aniston naked. Yeah. Is that not like saying? Hey, I got drugs. If pornography is illegal to show in in, in public, is it illegal, illegal to, to say? To, is it if illegal to display? Is it illegal to say I have this? No, because you're you not announcing see. that you will be displaying it. You're right. not saying right, right, extra, right. extra. Hold on, start his music again. We gotta make it official. Yes, <laughs> it is not illegal because you are not announcing that you are publicly displaying it. This will be a private transaction between our newsboy that's right and a person who is willing to see this material and of age and let me add we have no muff shots there are no muff, but the breast shot still is is not uh, legal hmm. okay. not legal I'm, to publicly I'm down with it. I just I just I just don't want to see you guys uh, in, in an emotional yeah. uh, whirlwind. Well, someone's suggesting uh, that uh, there's somebody, a uh, little man on the West Coast with a chest full of shit right now yelling, No! no! <laughs> <laughs> and he's on the phone. Jim Norton, everyone. Hi, guys. What's Hi, up, Jim? Jimmy. <laughs> Hi, Patricky. What's, what's up, Jimmy? How are you? I'm just getting ready to go to bed, and I figured I had to call in and say hello. Oh, that's very nice of you, Jimmy. I know. Can you cocksuckers please not blow up the fucking farm while I'm gone? Can you please just keep things moving until I get back? I, I don't think you've slept in a few days, huh? Oh, uh, what a nightmare. What's the matter? And you're so far away from the action, it's got to really be killing you. No new coattails blowing in the breeze for you to Thank jump you. on if we fuck this up? Please. At least Louis C.K. isn't going to wreck it when I'm gone for two weeks. Do you know what it's like to have to call Ben? Like, my only contact was Ben at one in the morning when he was in a bar, and it was fucking awful. It was the same thing four times in a row. <laughs> Dude, we don't know what's gonna happen yet. Dude, we don't know what's gonna happen yet. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. No, no. That's got to be a nightmare. That you got to get, your, get your info from Ben. So he goes from one story to another. It's fucking really annoying. He's like, you know, I'm talking to Eric Logan, right? Yeah. Bono was over there. And my dad was like, Jesus Christ. Bono. Fucking get your nose off the album for three seconds and explain to me what's happening with this radio show. Tom yeah. Brady. Yeah, yeah, I'm, right. I'm kind of far away. Can you help me out? Yeah. So I can really go to was, bed yeah. and get some sleep. Very upsetting, and it was good news to know that uh, all is well. I, I believe it's uh, it's going to be just fine. Although the Daily News uh, had a fine article about it today. Oh, that's good. A, they, they, they fucking shoot a guy on a plane in Miami, and they're talking about what, what the stupid governor of, of the Jersey said. That's, really, that's important. That's yeah, good. Exactly. Was it a big article? Was it that? Who is that guy? The, the fucking radio dude from the Daily News? No. No, no. no. Hey, another huge radio story. And the Daily News, the radio column, he, he has an interest. David Hinckley, he, he has a half a page radio column, and it's about what? What is the exciting news in radio that he felt compelled to print? Now, let's, uh, let's all be honest. The, our story was the biggest story in radio the last few days, right? Yeah, yeah. No question about it, in New York the, Radio. On the brink. And David Hinckley, who writes the radio column for the Daily News, this is his headline today. Uh -huh. Bell rings in the new year at WWPR. And the DJ's name is Bell, obviously, so it's Nate Bell. Starts January 2nd at WWPR. You know, for, I hope he opens his Christmas stocking and there's prostate cancer in it. <laughs> he really is an irrelevant human being. Why would you write about that? You could write about this tomorrow. You could write about this January 1st. Exactly, and no, no one, one would cares. cares. No one cares. You could write about it the week after it happened. He just hates you guys. That's all it is. But this is oh. our good friend, Richard Huff. Richard Huff wrote the article, half page. Half. Was, was it a trashing or no? No. No, not really. He just uh, got the facts. Man, we really know how to get ourselves in the paper, i got to tell you. Yeah, let's just make sure we get ourselves <laughs> i got to tell you. Let's just pat ourselves on the back. We know how to get publicity for ourselves. Let's not let's... be so cocky about this right now. <laughs> Why? I thought, you, there I thought is it was still... a three-day thing you guys are saying. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I'm Fucking sticking to that rule. Fucking Obi's arrogant, because, motherfucker. He got naked you. pictures of Elo or something. Hey, man. Everything you've you read and I didn't seen. sleep for two days. I finally slept last night. I went to bed at 8 o'clock. I'm ready to rock today. Dude, <laughs> Stayed in suspenders today. We're oh. fine. <laughs> everything you've read and everything everybody has said. And if they do suspend us, Ant and I will take our fan base and we'll 
Uh, Go to well, the other cable uh, It's only HBO we'll, and Showtime or radio. We'll there ain't no do Cinemax, a, motherfucker. We'll go into Internet radio and make that huge. Because oh. <laughs> I truly believe the computers are coming to the car any time. 45 hour time delay. Now. Yeah. <laughs> 60 people at a time. Right. That's like 10 years from that. You just have to write down your jokes and throw them in an envelope and mail them out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, you wouldn't believe what we're seeing right now. It's. Buffering, buffering, 45%. Buffering, 80%. Buffering, 95%. Free Internet. radio doesn't give you buffering. Buffering. <laughs> uh, well, it's a, it's a fine picture of uh, your pals there, Jimmy. And the yeah, don't be news. so cocky is what I was saying because Why? people th that have read things about this incident and that have listened, yeah. the message they are getting from every article and everything yeah. that has been said is the guy that did it is responsible. Right. Yeah. The guy that did the horn. And we have stated uh, the rules numerous times. And then the most important thing is, it says in that article right there, that we thought it went over the line. Do you know what? Now, that looks to um, me, as, as somebody looking in, like, all right. They even realized that that was over the line. If Opie starts crowing about this now, just, people listen to go. I was trying to be mm. Captain Positive Negro yesterday. Like, yes, look, you fellas, are. Fuck that. Let me tell you, this is how it. I was yeah. being Come all. Come on, Patrice. You were being all cop. And y'all was like, cop, listen, yeah. you fat newbie. You just don't know what don't we know. know what, what, it's our, like. <laughs> what our eyes have seen. The killing we've seen. <laughs> we've seen the coming of the Lord. And you motherfuckers call me. I'm like, yo. Yeah. This dude, a day later. And now, Mr. Now he's spouting off. Like, we what? know how to get the press. <laughs> we played you motherfuckers like you. That's what it sounds like. No. Dude, that's what you're saying. Well, we know we play them. We that's play what perfectly. you're saying. <laughs> I'm still going. People in the know have always said that we know how to get press. I'm still the apologetic. We know how to market ourselves, and we know how to get our names out there. Yes, it happened again. Played right into our hands. Bammo. <laughs> Half page article in the Daily News. Hop. You know what? I agree, Ob. I dare Elo to suspend this show. No. <laughs> Jimmy, shut up. <laughs> I dare Elo to take back your brand new door. Oh. I guess Elo's in New York. He's coming by later. So we'll get to the bottom oh, of this. Oh, he is? Elo, okay? Mm. All right. You know how many people at XM would be happy if the show got tossed? There'd be quite a few very happy people. I know. Uh, I read message boards. Yeah, arrogant pricks thrown and off. New York radio message board where they know everything. You know that guy. Well, that's who I'm pointing the finger at today. Those assholes that think they know what's going on. What's that, Jimmy? There's a guy who signs his name Josh in capital letters, and I don't, I, I don't know if he listens to the show, but I fucking I hope he's killed in a drunk driving accident. All he does is fucking take the goody two shoe side and bash the show. Oh, well, that's not appropriate radio. They should be drummed out of the business, and it's just fucking irrelevant nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, they don't seem to uh, get it. Well, Jimmy, because you're uh, all the way there in L.A., let me read the article. It's not that uh, long. Oh, not that long at all. The headline, Opie and Anthony fan gets an earful over ambush. A day after WABC Channel 7 correspondent Anthony Johnson was ambushed by a fan of the Opie and Anthony show on XM Satellite Radio, a station official said they're taking precautions to ensure employee safety. We're getting reports today that uh, they're doing live shots with cops now. Good. And, and uh, all kidding aside, we, we've... We've ended the assault on the media uh, thing. Separately, the radio hosts Greg Opie Hughes and Anthony Cumia told listeners yesterday that they were calling off their assault on the media campaign, saying the incident with Johnson had gone too far. It all started Tuesday morning when a man walked up behind Johnson with an Opie and Anthony sign and sounded an air horn near the reporter's ear. Viewers didn't see the incident, although they heard the horn. Channel 7 is going to do whatever necessary to assure the safety of our crew, Assistant News Director Bill McFarland said yesterday. McFarland wouldn't discuss whether Johnson was injured in the incident. He was not on the air yesterday. However, New Jersey's acting governor, Richard Cody, uh, released a statement Tuesday saying the air horn blast could result in permanent hearing damage for the reporter who was harassed. We've heard a much different thing about that, by the way. Uh, Cody also said that encouraging fans to intervene in live news shows was inappropriate and dangerous. Johnson was reporting on the snow in Ocean, New Jersey during the incident. At the time, even his on-air colleague had no idea he'd been attacked. Indeed, after the segment, co-anchor Steve Bartlestein joked about Johnson's hat. Opie and Anthony couldn't be reached for comment. Nice hat. <laughs> nice ears, Dick. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Nice hat. Nice hat. 
Opie and Anthony couldn't be reached for comment. I I love that because no one even tried to get a hold of us. Uh, this appears to be the unfortunate and irresponsible act of one individual, said an XM spokesman. We do not condone this act. On their website and on the air, Opie and Anthony repeatedly told listeners who they referred to as pests. Yes. And we love our pests. They just got to get a little smarter as we move forward. That's well, uh, <laughs> people don't really know. Little do they know. Well, a pest was on a flight in Miami yesterday, and uh, that went too far. That went a little far. Assault on air marshals. <laughs> yeah. He was pulling wow stickers from his backpack when they... Uh, what, so what he's actually yelling is, I have Boss's CD in my backpack, and they yelled, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> then it was a justified shooting. <laughs> Uh, so the, the pest get I mentioned, and, uh, you know, a lot of people talking about our pests lately, and uh, uh, they'll get smarter. They'll get smarter as we move on. Mike from Ohio, notice how Jimmy doesn't call until his job is on the line, that coattail riding motherfucker. <laughs> well, you know what makes me sick about that comment? The fucking fact that I, not only is that not the truth, but I have a plug to give. Do you know how much that hurts if you think that I was going to call this my plug? All right, let me get past this article first, okay? okay. <laughs> on their website and on the air, uh, Opie and Anthony repeatedly told listeners who they referred to as pests not to swear and not to get into fights with correspondents or pro uh, producers during the campaign. It was the same campaign that got a guy in the air during an Arthur Chien report at WCBS Channel 2. Chien, frustrated with the commotion behind him, dropped an F-bomb. He was fired by Channel 2 and now works at Channel 11. What's Other stations problem, have man? faced the disruptions during live shots, <laughs> though in most cases they've simply pulled away from the shot when the ONA fans turned up. The Johnson incident, however, was the first time the fan took it this far. The Johnson incident. In his statement, Cody <laughs> said the person who committed this act should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And there you have it. Did they arrest the guy? That's in the Daily News tonight. Why it's, doesn't anyone ask for a... They're a, not going to arrest the guy. ...prosecuted to a partial extent of yeah. the law. No one ever asked for, like, a, I want him prosecuted just a piece of the law. <laughs> just, just, a, just a chunk, a uh, smidgen. I want him prosecuted just a little bit. Just a Did tad. you find out that the guy was black? The report, I'm telling you, yes, it's significant. Was. He was a black guy. Yeah. Someone, I'm telling you, we don't, we don't sue. Somebody's just this. All this shit is somebody's trying to needle this motherfucker to don't sue. Don't sue. <laughs> don't sue. We don't you sue. sue. Hold the phone, my friend. Do you remember a little thing that happened with the Daily News and that scratch off fucking what? lottery thing they did? How come white people remember some shit that nobody black has even heard of? Now you know you you y'all sold yourself in slavery. That's me, your first thing. That you don't fucking do. thing. They 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 had a misprint. You're trying to get reparations from slavery fucking 500 years there ago. There you go. You're oh, suing for shit you that happened. You know what? When people thought the earth was flat. I'm saying, that you, I, when I asked you, was he black? It was significant. Someone's trying to convince him, hey, ain't your eardrums fucked up, man? No, nah, not really. Let's just go do Other Oh, the black people, maybe. <laughs> trying to convince them? <laughs> trying to convince them. Because yeah, they want a little piece yeah, of the action. They want a little piece of niggas sue them crackers. Gotta sue. <laughs> I seen I seen footage of a bus accident and it was like it was cam footage from a bank or something and as the bus was stopped after the accident there were black people running onto the bus. Oh shit, that's it's right. They claimed that they were injured in the that's accident. That's right. Why are you so oh, why everybody so up on what oh, They had demonstrations do? with this Daily News problem. Daily News put out a scratch off lottery game. Mm -hmm. Uh you scratched off and apparently they misprinted something, so a whole shitload of people had won like a hundred thousand dollars. Right. So the Daily News comes out and goes, "Look, it was a misprint. It's in our friggin' rules that if there's a misprint, it's null and void. You don't win any money." They showed the people demonstrating for their winnings on a daily basis, and I swear to God, there wasn't one white face in the crowd, not a one. So then they come out and say, "All right, everybody, put we'll we'll, we'll take does, your when tickets." When do white people demonstrate? White people demonstrate. They don't like you do. They We're make working. calls. Right. I demonstrate on they the go, phone. This is this is a, this is a travesty. I want my money. A humorous note to the Daily News thing: all the black people that were showing up to to protest this and everything uh, for the scratch off thing, they were told, "Put your name, uh, send in your your losing ticket, and we'll put it in a hat and draw a winner for a hundred thousand dollars." E Rock won. He was one of the Fucking winners. How many winners? Eric Three, won. Four winners. There were four, four winners. winners. And, How much you win? And Whitey won. Hundred thousand. He won a hundred grand. This guy won a hundred thousand. 
Yeah. Let me fit in. Take his shoes off and dress like that. that, that yeah. No, he's no. still dressed like a slob. <laughs> he's kind of in orange with mayo this morning. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. I've never even heard that story. That's amazing. Yeah. That's just so amazing. I'm, I'm slightly distracted. Oh, Jeff is like fucking cracker wins. Jeff, what are you trying to say today? It says maybe it's retaliation for making fun of his wife. I have no idea what you're trying I know to what say. What he means before that? Okay. Hello. Yeah, he go, goofed on his wife. That was a, about six months ago. Cody's wife was the one with the postpartum depression that talked about putting her baby in the oven. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, who wasn't making fun of that? There's a Jersey station that was making fun of that that got in trouble with him. Exactly. And Cody actually threatened that that jerk off Jersey guy and challenged him to a fight. So I'm just wondering if uh, that could be why he jumped on this. You know that. Uh, he remembers you guys crashing his wife. Well, he'd have to jump on every radio show because that was a huge story, and I think everybody was calling his wife a kook. Yeah, when you got audio of some uh, some mother admitting that she wanted to put her children in a microwave. In a microwave because of postpartum of depression. Of course you got to talk about and that. And now she does uh, commercials for postpartum depression. There you go. All right, now Wonderful. I got Jeff. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, he, I didn't, that was a big still story. looks nutty as a fruitcake on those commercials, but <laughs> she's telling you everything's cool and where to well, get it. Well, she's actually telling you how noble. to cook the baby. Like, don't overcook it. You, know, you have to baste his <laughs> little feet so it doesn't fry. Oh, there you baste, go. Baste his little... You wrap them in foil so they don't get crispy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the, th the thing is... Because I'll have a wing. Hey, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! The fucking the problem with the Jersey thing is it's so close to Philadelphia. I mean, who cares about Philadelphia on New Year's Eve? I mean, does it matter that I'm going to be at the Tower Theater? Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. Wow! I had such time to jump out of the way of that plug, <laughs> knowing knowing where it was going. That was pretty obvious. It was awful. <laughs> so uh, New Year's Eve show. Yeah, I had to. I just got to go to bed. Uh, I'm doing uh, the New Year's Eve with Voss, and and of course my new opening act, Colin Quinn. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> hate you. <laughs> I can't believe Colin's opening for you. I can. <laughs> believe me, all my friends, fucking uh, Patricia, you're next. You're the final holdout. Yeah, you you know better. It's is it uh, is I'll it true? I'm fucking be homeless for a while before you eat cheese ball. Uh, uh, Jimmy, is 58. His dignity is finished. What? When uh, Voss's teeth hit the floor, it's New Year's. <laughs> is that what? Uh, <laughs> when he tells a. Stupid joke, and his teeth <laughs> fly out of his head and hit the ground. Happy New Year, yeah, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for turning us on to Voss and all your other uh, crazy friends. Voss is in here on Monday. We're trying to continue with this fine radio program while Jimmy's out in L.A. Voss is sitting in, and he can't even get punchlines out because his teeth are falling out of his uh, ha And not one out tooth. Of his mouth. Half of his upper teeth were flying out of his face. Fellas, he just had a car accident. Didn't it was before the car accident. Was he had a car accident? He, yeah, 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 his Mercedes car got rear-ended. Oh, that's great. Got he destroyed. Hurt? He totaled his Mercedes. I don't think he's hurt, but he, well, he might be because he might be. Nah, no, he's all right. Is we he searching yesterday. eBay for another vehicle now? So what he he sent showing? me a picture, too, on my phone. That of his, of his uh, yeah. bashed up car? How bad? It, not, it's, 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 those trucks can do that. If they just if they go if they're two inches away and, right it's you know, a truck hit him yeah, so yeah he'd be hurt if it hit him and what so, happened is he backed up and <laughs> and the truck went forward something happened it was his fault it that was, had it him just be, looked right? like his fault yeah so it, it just I the think, way it was I think he was looking for some cash it's it's messed up I think he was looking for some cash now he's walking around probably with a neck brace today. He's too dumb. Voss is a day late and a dollar short, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he really isn't. He's like, he, he won't sue either because he's just too stupid. He yeah. thinks, like, or he'll say something really stupid in court yeah. about how he can't work anymore. You know, he's just a fucking fool. Well, uh, Jimmy, they're, um, they're saying... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. They're uh, saying you getting, have to go. Uh... Getting the signal. No, well, you know what it is? I think, I think they're, 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 they're saying that i got to do another call. It's so sad that you don't even hear people out there, but you just feel the, all right. Like, you can feel it. It's nothing worse. It's just us three and Norton's on the phone, but you feel millions of people going, Oh, uh, do do do. <laughs> in, in cyberspace, there's a look do 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 do. We're getting <laughs> we're getting the uh, the wrap up sign. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You got other radio shows to call today or something? Uh, what? Huh? When you do that, when the person's in the studio, you don't do that when the guy is sitting right there going, they're telling us you got to go, and no one has said anything. Well, no, we 
We heard your publicist cut into the call and say that you have other things to do. Yeah, we can only hear that. You didn't uh, hear that. Oh, okay. Jimmy is right, though. We'll have people in here, and also I'll just go, ah, they're telling us uh, you got to go. <laughs> and I've actually seen the guests, like, look behind them like, like who? who? I didn't bring and anyone I, with me. And oh. as serious as I could uh, keep it, I'm like, no, man, they're telling us that you got to go. And he, they just get so confused, like, who the, oh. what the? No one told the... you shit. <laughs> All right, boys, we'll have a good show. I had to just call and say hello, and, uh... New Year's Eve Tower Theater with me, Voss, and stupid Colin. Tickets on sale this Saturday at 11. All right, Jimmy. I'll see you, boys. Don't be All a stranger. All right, Jimmy. Go to sleepy. Bye. Night. Bye, Patrice. Bye, All sweet. Right. Jim Norton, everyone. Very early for Jimmy out there in uh, Cali. 4, uh, 30-ish, maybe. I would have just said 35 past the hour. All right. Paul the trucker. Paul. Hey, boys. Hey. hey First Paul. time getting through. Right. Hey, I was uh, flipping through the channels last night because I listened to the replay every, all the time uh, yesterday, and Bill O'Reilly replay was on, and Hulu was on there, and that delusional motherfucker was like, Bill O'Reilly's asking him, well, what do you get when you're going to be on Sirius? And he's like, well, what you get is, and, he, and this is what was so ridiculous. It wasn't all the programs for Sirius first. It was my two channels first, then all the programs for Sirius. And then Bill Rye was like, well, are you going to use more cuss words now that you're going to be on satellite? And he's like, I don't have to do that to do a radio show. I can do a radio show. And I'm going, you delusional cocksucker. I hope your, bus, or your limo gets hit by a freaking bus on the way to work. All right. Thank you, Paul. Very good. He was all over the place, wasn't he? Well, we did a lot. we did all those interviews a little over a year ago and yeah. said pretty much the same stuff. It's the standard. Uh, we ought to just uh, we ought to write a book, Opie. We ought to write a book because there's going to be a lot of terrestrial radio people that come over to satellite. It's just happening. It's going to continue to happen. People are miserable in regular radio. All the jocks. Uh, everybody in satellite radio gets calls on a daily basis from radio personalities saying. What can I do to get over there? How can I get into satellite radio? This stinks over here. If we put out a book with just the statements that you're supposed to say during the initial couple of months yeah. before you go, we, we'd be rich. Oh, that's right. We are. We'd, we'd be... Uh, I, don't you get the sarcasm in my voice when I say that? No. You're rich. No, I'm not. I'm not. How am I rich? I don't know. You save your communion money. I try to save a little bit. You're right. Let's say hi to Nick. I spend. Easy come, easy go. I had it, and I went with it. Me a bag of shells. He's not going to make it to 9 o'clock. What? Your voice. It's shot. Nick, what's going on? Yeah, I wanted to back up a little bit. How come the Daily News can get off with a disclaimer saying they're not responsible for what happens with mistakes and shit, but you guys do, you know, you said don't hurt anybody, and, and you're not let off the hook like they are. Maybe you ought to just reword it or something. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, the Daily News gave us a fair piece, actually. They usually, uh, the papers usually trash us pretty good when we uh, fuck up. So. No, they did the right thing? Yeah, I think it's all right. It's all right. I won't. Reword your thing anyway. What the hell? Can't hurt. All right, Nick. Thank you. All right, man. Bye. Oh, uh, this is actually really, really funny. Dug out Doug, one of the pests. What's up, uh, Doug? Hey, good morning, fellas. Good morning. Um, hey, uh, yeah, I was wondering if you guys saw the press release on uh, Tissue Time with uh, Beth and Allison. Yeah, you guys are crazy, man. This is what I was saying a little while ago. We still love the pest. Absolutely, we support the pest. We just uh, we're hoping you guys just get smarter as we move on. That's all, all right. Yeah, just true. smarter, more clever, more creative. Um, yeah, these uh, the pests. Uh, <laughs> they uh, they sent out a press release that has been picked up by a few a few different a few places. news today. organizations. Yeah, Yahoo News. Posted it right. They're yeah, sending trying. out press releases. They they do all our dirty work for us That's now. Hysterical. Yeah, we're trying to. Uh, we're going to. Oh, how shall we say? Spam the media uh, in a different light. Oh, a spam the media yeah, promotion. A, yeah, there's there's. I personally never we'll liked that assault on the media thing. Anyway, I stay away from that. I never liked it. That's mm -hmm. uh, that's okay. That was. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to separate myself personally from that so I can keep doing this on the radio. Right. <laughs> now, the, uh, no, you guys will get smarter. We, yeah, so... so there's definitely gonna... a place for pests on this radio show, definitely. We just uh, need to figure out how to make it a little smarter, that's all. And, uh, well, we... the press release, i got to read it because it's really, really funny, man. And I can't believe they actually printed this on a very respectful uh, website at, like, uh, Yahoo. 
The headline, Satellite Radio Fans Treated to a Radio First with the Debut of Tissue Time with Beth and Allison. <laughs> Here's the press. Press release. It says, New York, December 7th, PR Newswire. In what appears to be a pioneering move for the satellite airwaves, the latest bit on the XM Satellite Radio Opie and Anthony show has listeners conducting graphic and uncensored phone sex. There are plans to extend the bit as its own show every Saturday night on the XM High Voltage Channel 202, reports the program's fan group ONA Army. The explicit nature of the show is perfect for satellite radio, which is not limited by FCC constraints. The concept of having females host a show for listeners to call in and have phone sex with the host while broadcasting the calls live is revolutionary. Yes. Auditions for the role of host will be done live on the Opie and Anthony show. When asked to comment... Host Greg Opie Hughes stated, This just goes to show how hard we work to put on a quality show. We have so many things in the works. I think this one is so brilliant, it is bound to be ripped off sooner than later. <laughs> uh, there's also a press release in the works uh, to publicly dispute Katie Couric's uh, report, quote-unquote, yeah. that uh, Howard Stern will be the first shock jock in space. Hold on, i got to bow. I have to stand up and bow. Ladies and gentlemen, outside the studio, we've been looking for him for two months. It's Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf, we got some stories to <laughs> tell hit, you, my brother. Song. That's the guy. I still cry at that song in and my trunk. There he is. That's the guy. Jeez, that wasn't a black guy? That was, no, a... was an Indian. That's the guy. Oh we bow to God. him today. He has no idea that he's becoming a star as he walks the streets uh, homeless. But let's uh, finish up here. Yeah, you guys are doing a press release... Uh, that you're sending out to, like, uh, MSNBC and all that? Yeah, we're going to try to get it out everywhere, uh, especially the one about uh, the Good Morning America and their false reporting. Actually, it wasn't Good Morning America. It was the sorry, Today uh, Show. Yeah, Today Show. Uh, it was Katie Couric. Katie yeah. Couric uh, basically saying that Howard's going to be the first shock jock on satellite radio. That's just not, uh, it's just ridiculous. So that is that is currently being authored. All right, here we go. Take another angle and a different spin on this. All right, going back to your press release on tissue time, then it says Anthony Cumia stated that the key to the success of the Tissue Time with Beth and Allison show will be that we will have listeners come forward and participate, as opposed to trying to lull the audience to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> Multitudes of female fans are excited at the opportunity of participating in this revolutionary concept. Women interested in auditioning should contact Steve, and they give out Steve's number, or contact the ONA Army, a fan group, at www. Whackbag.com. The Opie and Anthony Show can be heard live on XM Satellite Radio from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern on weekdays with replays throughout the day and weekends. Information on Opie and Anthony and the ONA Army can be found at foundrymusic.com. And they picked it up as a real press release. Yep. Source. Huh? Mm. Source. Yeah, the source. Source. ONA Army? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that was penned by our uh, Minister of uh, Morons, Chuck Yarla from Whackbag. He's, minister uh, of Morons. He's, he's the guy that, uh, that got like, the billboard going and, and all that good stuff. These guys are it. living like 1984. Oh, man. it's great. The book. The Min Minister of Morons. The Minister of Morons. Very good. It's good stuff, guys. All right. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were asking me questions uh, the last few days about you guys in the past, you know, and I, I completely support you guys still. Without a doubt, I think we just need to uh, get smarter and clever. It's going to be a challenge for the pests right? Yeah, we were, uh, to up we were their were game. Worried. We were a little worried. I actually lost my real job the other day, and the exact same day I thought I was going to lose my job for the ONA Army. All right. You lost your job? Yeah. Hey, do you guys have like a $500 coupon for steaks you might have laying around that you're not doing anything with? <laughs> uh, we just might. <laughs> we just might. Yeah, there's some unclaimed prizes. Outlaw Steakhouse, we love them. Yep. Yeah, am I the 10th caller today? Uh, I don't even know if we have them to give away today, but uh, we'll we'll send some your way. Yeah, yeah, I've got nothing. Doug, how are the uh, the secret missions going? Uh, they're go Well, you know, I'm not sure how to... <laughs> <laughs> How to proceed with the one next week? <laughs> Gotta improvise, adapt, and overcome. Uh, That's right. That's yeah. right. You guys will figure it out. How's that sound? I don't really know if uh, if we still want to do that one. Uh, you guys, you know, I don't know. Well, someone maybe can let me know if that's a good idea or not. I think if you do it in a peaceful way, there should be no problem, right? All yeah? right. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And Beautiful. I'm going on the record because they might need this tape. Oh. I don't see a problem if you do it in a peaceful way. That's that's what we've been saying. It's always got to be done in a peaceful that's way. That's right. That's well, we right. Can break it down to it. It's radio shows. I mean, you can have fun, act like idiots, but nothing should ever get that out of hand where anybody gets hurt or doesn't. Right. Or, or physical. All right. Well, thank you, Doug. You're all about fun. 
Uh, That's what we are. That is really funny. These guys send out their own press releases now. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, what does MySpace Debbie want? Is this your friend? Uh, yes, she's my friend on MySpace. MySpace Debbie, what's up? Good morning. How are you? Good. Uh, first of all, Anthony, how's your MySpace account going? Oh, oh it's it's blowing up. But okay. um, do you have totals? Is uh, Anthony beating Jim Norton yet? I got. I did. I haven't uh, signed up any of my newest friends today, but um, I, I should have a few. Debbie, so people can see your MySpace. Yes. What is it? It's MySpace slash what? Debbie Davids. Debbie Davids. Yep. All right, there you go, and uh, check her out. Okay. <laughs> she was the. Uh, I had her up there on my friend list before I put our soldiers up there as a tribute. Yes. I'd actually put firemen up there and uh, police officers. I get a lot of the heroes as my uh, friends. When are you going to do the strippers? Jimmy already does that. He's a sleazy, uh, a sleazy he guy. Have real he strippers it. though. He has the the chicks with dicks, uh, trannies, and yeah. No, you got to do the real man. heroes and and That's do what a, I do. Do a day of strippers, just one day. They're heroes. Uh, Jim has seven thousand fifty nine friends. Anthony still behind, but getting closer. Six thousand three hundred fifty three. It's con I am constantly that same amount behind him. I don't. I don't understand what I got to do. To One day where yeah, I just throw strippers up there. I've exposed him to being like a, a sympathizer of Al Qaeda. Uh, I've exposed him for not supporting uh, the troops, and for being a uh, flaming homosexual who likes uh, uh, sucking the dicks of of guys that impersonate women. And wh what else do I have to do? <laughs> I'll tell you what you have to do. <laughs> Anthony wanted this is on the uh, on the down low. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I think you need to pass Jimmy today. Yeah. If you want to see topless pictures of Jennifer Aniston, they are posted on Anthony's oh. MySpace account. Right. They're it's up there right now for your viewing pleasure if you're signed to be one of his friends. MySpace.com <laughs> slash Anthony Cumia. That's right. C-U-M-I-A. There's no, there's no spaces, no nothing. It's Anthony Cumia. That's one right. word. A N T H O N Y C U M I A. These pictures are highly illegal, but Anthony has That's them. That's right. I will be distributing those very pictures. That's right. To all of my good friends. That's right. Watch me pass Jimmy Norton. <laughs> I don't care. I say, screw these laws against our freedoms. These are freedoms that we hold dear in this country. The freedom to see Jennifer Aniston's tits. Without any of that pesky covering. That's what I, I know everybody wants to see. And I, if voted top friend over Jimmy Norton, will give you those pictures. Thank you. Thank you. I will get. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Those pictures will be yours. I believe we are all free to see these pictures. <laughs> you respond to these people like that. What's the idea of this thing? People, uh, you had never been to MySpace. The idea is I respond. The yeah. idea is you promote yourself. Something There's you don't some. do well, Patrice. We're trying there to teach you. Stop. That's her. Yep. That's one of your friends. That's one of my good friends on MySpace. Debbie Davids. Wow. Can we give out your website? Absolutely. DebbieDavids.com. My free website. Free. free. That's what, we... what it's all about. Is free. Let's see what we get for free on DebbieDavids.com uh, <laughs> website. It's D E B B I. By That's the way. A good friend. That's right. Everything's free. Videos, wallpaper, great Ooh. pictures. I would never charge for stuff like that. So how do you make your money? Well, all my modeling shoots, all the stuff I go out and do, the print jobs, commercials, advertising, stuff like that. And you're a fan of this show? Absolutely. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. That's but, you know, I'm, I'm calling back because uh, when I called in Monday and uh, boinked, everybody started calling me a tissue teaser. Oh, um, you're, uh, oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, I remember her uh, what, mom called yeah, up. Yeah, what's wrong with my memory? Yeah, your mom said, didn't want you playing tissue time. Right, right. She didn't want me to do the phone sex, and, you know, I caught a lot of crap about that. And so I thought about it, and all week I have been practicing this penthouse forum story for you. Okay. So I called back to see if you'd let me read it. 
Yeah, we could go to break with uh, MySpace Debbie reading a naughty story. It's very nice. It's and a, those penthouse forums are naughty. It's another uh, angle that we're taking with this tissue time. Mm -hmm. So, guys, if you got a tissue handy, we're going to have uh, Debbie read you a nice little story. Yeah. It's tissue time with MySpace Debbie. Tissue time. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> I get the voice. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Mm. Elise and I have been best friends since college. We share the same birth date. On our 27th birthday, we went to dinner and then stopped for drinks before heading to her place. Hold it, hold it. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you make it on your 15th birthday? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> At least, um, uh, let's see, uh, 19. Okay. Yeah, yeah, start over at 19. And uh, you got to explain yourself for the radio audience because we're getting new listeners every day. You're blonde. How tall are you? I'm blonde, 5'6", 34D, mm -hmm. boobs, mm -hmm. great ass. I like beer, pizza, football. All these fat bras are just screaming at you right now. <laughs> Fucking bitch. She's well, got, get off your ass and run. Like all hot and everything, and she <laughs> eats beer and pizza. <laughs> uh, why can't the ladies get the uh, that one part of their body to tan? What's that? I just saw a picture. Go back. What part? That part under the ass. Like the part where the leg meets the the because ass. Because it's an if you if you're a girl and you have an ass, that part blocks the sun. <laughs> it's just an amazing thing, though. Where are you in a fucking orange grove, naked? What is that? You're like it's like the sound of music. You're up on a hill, but you're naked. I think that was actually out in Wyoming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hills are alive. Ooh, it's the sound of And she's got like uh, one of her breasts are showing from the side, full ass shot. And she just went. There you go. Yeah, E Rock asked me to uh, email him some naked pictures. So. Oh, E Rock asked you to mail yes. him yeah. naked pictures. And I'm sure it was. And I'm sure it was for the show. For the show, but yeah. we haven't heard about this since you me you mentioned it. Yeah, we yeah. just heard now. This, purely, is, this is the first time we're hearing about it. As he points at the screen, like this is the naked picture. No, this is from her website. How did he casually get into saying. your conversation on email that uh, he has a hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> uh, what was the conversation with E Rock? How did it go? Oh, it was, uh, oh, you're great, you're great. By the way, uh, if you'd like to send me a nude picture, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> you scumbag. Damn right. <laughs> it's show prep. Could you cover yourself in mayo and send me a picture of you in a mayo bikini? <laughs> well, it's Miracle Whip bikini. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are laughing pretty good in the other room. <laughs> Iraq loves his mayo. <laughs> All right, Debbie. Now you're stretching, uh, doing a little um, running stretch Ooh, on, look a, at that. on a red rock. That girl's got legs. You got long legs, and the uh, and the ass sits up nice there. You sure. like that, Patrice? Why? Yeah, she looks good, man. Yeah, nah, the booty's not big she's enough in, for you, right? She's no, in very I good shape. I wouldn't, I, you know, if I was hungry, I wouldn't hunt her. But if she, you know, if she wanted to feed me. You're not Patrice's type, but that's well, she's everybody's that type. figures. She's everyone's type, but it's like who you hunt. I don't hunt that. You, you don't hunt saying? that. She was. She She's everybody's type. She's gorgeous. She's yeah. a good-looking white woman. Yeah. I get that's a, that's a three to five for me. Just You don't hunt her because she runs. You can't catch her. It's no, a fucking her. fat joke. Yes, just it is. It certainly is. <laughs> well, she runs. You fucking dick. Give me one of these boards where I can make a car crash, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> she runs, and you can't run, you mother. <laughs> Self-esteem blast at 8 in the morning. You're like, hey, you fat bastard. I'm I, saying, I was feeling good. I figured I'd give it a try. Damn. I'm saying that she's, she's everyone's type. And that no yeah. one wouldn't want to be with her. It's just that I, yeah. I wouldn't try to be with her. All right. You know. Debbie. Yes. Yeah. You got to make it sound like you're not reading, and you got to be more breathy. <laughs> and it also helps if you tell everyone you're naked, even if you're not. Oh, I am naked. I made sure before I called I was naked. Perfect. How do you? How can you prove you're naked? See. She's never had to be sexy. Could you put the phone near your ass and give it a couple of smacks? You know, that's so funny. I was just about to do that. Here yeah, we go. let's hear. That's really funny. Did you hear that? Sounds very tight. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you believing that, Patrice? She just doesn't have the skills to be sexy. She doesn't need to be. She just walks up the street and everyone does it for her. She doesn't know how to be like this. You don't like her sultry voice? Yeah, she hit her ass, that hard ass. She just she doesn't know. And it's not her fault. It's just that she doesn't know. She yeah. doesn't need. She's just like, look at my pictures, yay! Now I'm a read. It's just, 
That's what she does. And it's no offense to you, Pumpkin. It's just that you never needed to have a skill to be anything more than, like, beautiful right now. When you get about 35, you, you'll, you'll know how to slap your ass a little better. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you know anybody offering classes on that, you know, I'd, I'd love to sign up. All right. All right. So uh, uh, let's, let's hear. How long is the story? You know what? I was thinking, let me condense it down a little bit. Let me set it up for you. Uh, right. Me and my 19-year-old girlfriend, mm -hmm. it's our birthday, and she has decided that a great gift we would give each other is to masturbate in front of each other. Ah. Oh. Lovely. Mm hmm. Elise brought a pillow and a sheet from her bedroom and placed them on the sofa. She'd also brought her bag of pleasure toys to choose from and emptied them on the coffee table. Then we undressed. I'd never seen Elise in anything less than brown panties and was awestruck by her naked beauty. I told Elise I wanted to watch her do her beautiful thing first. Sitting on the sofa with me, cuddled up next to her, Elise played with her luscious breasts and large, dark brown nipples. Then she slipped a hand down between her legs to play with her pretty pussy. She began to moan and diddled her stiff clit between her fingers. I felt my own clit hardening as I took in this erotic sight. Elise told me to stand in front of her and rub my clit. I stood before her, stimulating myself as she did the same. Mmm, watching you touch your clit, Terry, is making me very hot, Elise said. Then she plunged two fingers into her pussy hole. Hearing the wet sounds of Elise's finger fucking herself was truly thrilling. I found myself wishing monotone, that my fingers were thrusting yeah, a little in and bit. out of her. She can't hear us right now. Like she Elise thinks it's um, long it's really sexy, like a sultry vibrate. voice, but it's like, just coming off like monotone. It sounds like a Barnes and Noble books on tape. And I know yeah. Between her legs she, the, uh, what is that? Uh, the Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, Robin. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't mind the fact that it kind of sounds like she's reading, as long as it would be like a sexy reading, because it'd be very hard to pull off like she was just telling a story. I'm gonna come. She screamed her legs. Tell she doesn't have open. skills, man. You got to understand that. She just doesn't. <laughs> Poor thing. Watch me. Watch me, Debbie. Watch me come. It was as if I were watching the petals of a rose slowly opening. Elisa's pussy hole opened and an incredible flood of cum juice began squirting out. Oh my god, I gasped. This sounds like an edgy children's book. <laughs> 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 Keep, keep going. We're digging it. <laughs> oh, my God, I gasped as I watched Elisa's orgasm splashing out from within her. Oh, that's beautiful, I said. <laughs> it, it was my turn, and I was more than ready. Grabbing a large dildo and lying down on the sofa, I immediately put my fingers to work on my aching clit. And then I drove three fingers deep inside my dripping love box. Mm, watching you masturbate is the best birthday gift ever, Debbie. It's so beautiful, he said as she knelt beside me. I buried the full length of the dildo into my horny pussy and began fucking myself. In less than a minute, I was crying out to Elise that I was coming. And as I lay with the dildo still inside me, trying to catch my breath, I suddenly felt Elise take hold of it and began fucking me. Mm, I loved watching you come, Debbie. I want to watch you come again. I was quite surprised by this, and even more surprised when she took my clit into her mouth. <laughs> Elise, oh my God! I screamed, my body shifting wildly as Elise fucked me with the dildo while sucking on my clit. And as I cried out again that I was coming... Elise quickly pulled the door out and covered my pussy with her lips to receive my release. I guided Elise down on top of me in a single turn. It was the first time either of us had been in this position with another woman. For more than 20 minutes, we remained locked in this incredibly beautiful love embrace, each drinking in each other's sweet nectar. It was an incredibly wonderful birthday gift indeed. A gift that Elise and I still give each other. Hello, exactly! Was that it? That's it. Wow. Hey, <laughs> hey Nick, what's going on, Nick? 
Nick in Boston. Hey, uh, I think we need to gas this bitch and get Michelle on the phone. Wow, they're calling Jesus. out for Michelle already. Oh, they're calling out for Michelle already. I thought it was a fantastic job. Oh, uh, maybe because the story didn't have enough sex in it. Yeah, it was one of those girly yeah, stories. I yeah. think I could write something a lot better than that. All right, we uh, we look forward to your writing. <laughs> yes, MySpace Debbie. Very good. All right, okay. Debbie. I have to give a shout out to my good buddy brother Joe. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> What's up with Brother Joe? <laughs> Are you sending him naked pictures, too? Uh, well, we're, we're uh, going back and forth. We're writing each other. Oh, isn't my space <laughs> wonderful? <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell is going on? This bitch. And, you know, I, ha I do have a link on my uh, website, is which is a and and tribute. telling everybody what the Really? Uh-huh. An ONA tribute? <laughs> mm-hmm. And I have a recorded copy of my story in case anyone missed it, and they can actually... Go through a gallery of photos with uh, of me while they uh, listen to it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Hit send. Tell everybody. Hit send. Tell everybody. Hit send. Tell everybody. <laughs> MySpace is a great example of. Uh, I think I've said this before of how AIDS spreads. <laughs> like you, you, you go on there, and when you first go on, it's just you. It's just you, and then through friends, and then friends of friends, and that you wind up. You're all connected in some way. You had some type of relationship with this other person. And it just can show you how quickly things like AIDS spreads. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Brother Joe's just trying to help you out with your career, or you guys are going to write a song parody together? Or... <laughs> Maybe I'll have them help me write my dirty story. Or just some casual conversation. Of course. Yeah. I'm just messing around. All right, Debbie. Well, thanks, guys. I didn't want to be a tissue teaser. I at least wanted to give the audience something. I tried. Oh, uh, no, it was great. Uh, one other thing, Debbie. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, thank baby. God. No mm -hmm. mercy. Yeah, she was like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, really fast, it's just been brought to my attention. Yeah. The four-story Opie and Anthony advertising. Ad yeah. Advertisement they promised us when we were in Washington, D.C., is up and hanging off Madison Square Garden right now. That is. Here in New York City. Wow. Huge. That's a real picture? Wow. Holy is, crap. It goes from the roof of the Madison Square Garden wow. right down to the sidewalk. All the way down. Over the windows. Over the windows. Over the windows. Yeah. It's on opianthony.com. That, that's real. That's not Photoshop. That's what's going on today in New wow. York City. A huge, huge uh, banner for the Opie and Anthony program if, if and XM Satellite Radio. If someone's near that with a uh, camera, snap a picture with your uh, phone or something and uh, mail it just to confirm. I want a confirmation that isn't photoshopped. No, I mean, Ben's saying it's real. Oh, so, yeah, that's got to be true. Go to openanthony.com and check it out for yourself. The first time we're not using the uh, the cartoon characters. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're finally using uh, oh, that's right. us from our groovy photo shoot. Yeah, our, our damn photo shoot. All right, Keith is here. Keith the cop. We're getting ready for the homeless shopping spree. I think we're still doing the homeless shopping spree, aren't we? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, we're not doing the homeless shopping <laughs> we better spree? better be. Oh, okay. We had better be. Cause he part the scariest looking. I'm trying to be mature about this guy's face, man. But this is like shit. All right, what that? Uh, Can we get a picture of that guy's face? Absolutely. Oh my god. Yeah. What what is wrong with that guy? It looked like he was getting ready to turn into a werewolf, but it just stopped. Is that a gunshot wound? Happened. Uh, oh. No, I think it's just natural. Some kind of natural. That's uh, natural. Birth, that shit could happen to oh. you. Oh, that's like the elephant man. That's thing. why I don't like seeing this stuff, man. That's what I'm saying. It's disturbing. It looked like he was almost the Hulk, but he just stopped being mad right before he was going. <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> ah, never mind. But <laughs> he's the Hulk when he's just a little bit disturbed. <laughs> Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. I'm <laughs> all right. Just letting you know where my face could go, motherfucker. That's that's the Hulk, just a little agitated. <laughs> little like his breakfast hard. order was it's a little agitated. <laughs> like his breakfast. This order. He wanted egg whites. They gave him, they gave him all, the the entire egg. So he's just a little pissed yeah, it off. Yeah, someone trying to kill him. No, nah, you know he's got to lift a car off of somebody. It's like yeah, that's a little road know, rage. I I wanted black coffee. They put sugar in this. It, it's a little road rage. All of a sudden, someone cut him off, and he's. Ugh. And then the moment passed. Right, you know, you got to right. get to work. Just to let you know, I am almost a Hulk face. <laughs> Holy crap. It uh, obviously he looks great when he turns to the side. Oh, my God, man. It's disturbing. <laughs> this is not fucking fair. <laughs> look at that. Patrice, look at him when he turns I've to the side. I've seen him all, It's just like he's like... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like uh, some kind of bone thing. Oh, no. You know what it is? You ever see the Hulk, the original series? Yeah. And it's just the monster within. And it's David Banner's half of his oh, face. Oh, they showed half and, and half. Faces. Yeah, that's yeah. That's him. Half a Hulk face. <laughs> that's his That's his moniker. <laughs> What what is that? Do you know, Keith? Yeah, it's a it's a natural thing. I mean, you. It's you a ask, natural thing. What is it, Keith? You gotta ask him when he comes in. There's nothing natural he has about no, that. He has no problem talking about it. <laughs> Some kind of I mean, bone I prep thing. Him. All right, so, and he's homeless. I think it's like your bones, yeah. like kind of grow. Oh. All right, here's the deal. Keith has been bringing in homeless guys for the last few weeks. We're getting ready for the homeless shopping spree, and I see Gray Wolf out there. The one, the only. Does he even know he's becoming a star? Uh, I did mention that we he did a song. He hasn't heard it or anything. We like gotta that. play it because he doesn't know what it sounds like with the music behind. Yeah, we gotta play it for Gray Wolf. We finally found him, a very talented guy. They're now playing his song on the blues station here on XM. Yeah. Really? It's yeah. it's in my it's in my uh, CD changer. It's, Isn't it's, it great? It's like I go I played it on the way to Boston when they drive and it just yeah every se it's only like seven seconds long. I know, but it it's just, real short. Yeah. But it just life. gets all that emotion out. Shelter me from, from the, the pouring uh, rain. We even all know the words. I'm not even mad he's not black. It's like, it's like, fucking, it, God bless, it should be an Indian. Indians should sing the blues. Hell yeah. All right, and then uh, the, the guy whose face is melting, who's he? That's Scott. <sighs> What's his deal? Uh, he, he's one of the Port Authority homeless guys. All right. Oh, Port Authority there. guys, huh? And then uh, we have Jose. Jose? He was a... Uh, I don't think you guys got to play that interview. Oh, I did Jose, interview yes. The other day. Yes. Yeah. We didn't get to it because we got in so much problems. Well, what does yeah. Jose do? He's just fucking crazy. Wait. Yeah. I got the home, uh, the Jose audio. One of the tracks is uh, titled, Jose Wants Underpants and Mommy for Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I got to hear that. Do we have time to play this now before he comes in? Yeah, pop that in. All right. Since Keith uh, went to the Port Authority and started interviewing the homeless guys. Because we're trying to get the best crew for this year's homeless shopping. Uh, announcing a brand new uh, member name on Whackbag, Half a Hulk Face. Half a Hulk Just Face. Just join the family. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Half a Hulk Face. <laughs> we all have names on Whackbag that have good. something to do with this show. <laughs> and they're right on it. They're right on it. ran and took Half a Hulk Face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like getting a domain name, you know? <laughs> they just they grab onto it. All right, let's let's oh, listen to Keith here uh, interview Jose the Homeless Guy. Hey, this is Keith the Cop, and I am here at the Port Authority bus terminal interviewing prospective candidates to participate in the homeless shopping spree. I love how Keith just sets it up all nice for everybody, like he's doing a 60 Minutes report or something. My interview I'm, skills suck. I'm here. <clears throat> Today I am here with my friend. What is your name? Jose. Jose? And the police call me Louis. The police call you Louis? All right, Jose. And you're out here, you're living in the Port Authority bus terminal? Yes. Uh, uh, they in the train. What? You can call us one o'clock. I go to the A train. Oh, A train. You say you live on the A and you ride back and forth on the A train? Tell me again the question. <laughs> And what do you do? Is that where you sleep? You ride back and forth on the A train? In the A train, all my life, all my life in the street. Yeah, and what brought you out to the street? What happened in your life that made you say, you know what? My mother, I don't know my father. My mother, she's a drug addict. Yeah. I dropped out of high school. Met somebody. I started drinking beer. Uh. And... That's what happened, you know. Any drugs? You smoked a crack or anything? I did everything. Crack, cocaine, smile, one. I didn't do no needle. Never in my life. I did anything. I know who's who, who's not who. I did everything. Just the needle is not good. Yeah, that's no good. No good. All right. Yeah, she and the, and, and the thing and the... The glass, no glass, and the can. You pull it a hole with the needle. You put it up. I do everything. Wow. Jeez. He's a real treat. Can Jesus. I, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. How, how did heroin yeah. become, like, it's like, shit, I did it all, baby. Crack, coke. I shove things in my ass, and then it's like heroin is the thing where you go. Well, I never uh, did no damn heroin. How did heroin that, become the that heroin? <clears throat> you know the, the the goddamn pedophile of. of <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can do all that sexual deviant shit, but the, yeah, it's the best. Heroin is, wow, yeah, the great. one that makes you a drug addict. Yeah, like. You can do coke and you're not a drug addict. Like he was cognizant, as bad as he, off as he is, he's cognizant that of the fact that heroin is, that's yeah. the, that's the, oh, no, 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 no. You know what it is? You you could be, like, especially in the 80s, you could be a fucking businessman with a coke habit, just like crazy, and still be very successful. People smoke pot every day. They go to work still. They right. can function off of that. You never see the guy, the heroin addict, you know, holding down the job, taking care of the family with a heroin habit. That just seems to be the drug that puts you into that just a drug addict category. Right, you can right. be a drug addict, but a family guy, you're working. You're <laughs> <That> but <laughs> heroin, you are just a drug addict, nothing the else. other drugs has an and. Yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah. He's a crack addict. And he's a businessman. And a father of four. <laughs> right. There's no and after heroin. No. He's on heroin. The guy's talking to you. <laughs> he's on heroin. That's, that is it, man. Period. No Hoping comma. The uh, comments uh, coming in of, from our banner yeah. hanging on Madison Square oh, Garden. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. And let me tell you, always guys. Oh, guys. Boy. Oh, boy. I, I got to tell you something, gentlemen. I would never call up right or anything about, like, a guy's looks. Like, I would never go, like, wow, he he's not handsome. Or this guy looks gay. Or <laughs> something. Like, like, this guy, you, wow, Ant, you look really gay in the banner. Uh, and Opie looks like he belongs with the Queer Eye cast. Uh, and then in capital letters, faggots. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't ban him, Anthony. Regardless, no, I'm not going to ban him. It's it's his opinion, and that's fine. Uh, is Opie wasted in the new picture? Were you wasted, Opie? No, I was just uh, really tired. <laughs> <laughs> not wasted, though? No. <laughs> uh, At least we're not wearing Boy Scout uniforms. <laughs> I like At least the banner. we have our regular clothes on. This one's funny, though. He goes, I like the banner on the side of Madison Square Garden when our Hall and Oates appearing there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny. <laughs> See that's, see, that's poking a little fun. That's all right. It's very funny. <laughs> Always like the uh, Hall and Oates reference with uh, the uh, Opie and Anthony show. Uh, but but I, like, I wasn't I wasn't wasted. I just don't like doing that shit. You know, so, some guys though, don't the way like, they comment on it like we're chicks up there. When like, I, dude, I you know I like your tits, but your ass just doesn't fucking turn me on. Because that's they want you to look. Let, let's face it, you guys. Yeah. And, and this is not a gay way. You guys can actually get some pussy. Now, no offense, I know Ron and Fez are your friends. Yeah. But they're, they're, you know, they're squatty little sons of bitches. So when you see them, they can't be on Madison Square Garden. It's like, Ron and Fez, it's like, who are these two little marble motherfuckers? But you two guys, it's like a blonde brunette thing going on. You kind of, you have beautiful eyes. You like know, star like, you heart. are obsessed with that. They're beautiful gorgeous. eyes. They just are so bright, and they have, if you drew them, they would always have those two little white dots in them, no matter what. And, just glistening. And, and Opie blink, is a blink. classic good-looking dude. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a gay thing. You would yeah. want you guys to have a strange look, but you look like regular normal dudes, and you actually could get some girls. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's their way when they call you fags. They say, oh, these guys are decent-looking dudes. <laughs> I'll tell you, where th that picture was taken like two hours in. So we're really yeah. just like, all right, enough. And I'm um, spent. That's a fine show. No, I like think it, we're gay. It just works. I think it cares. does have a Starsky and Hutch look to it. Yeah, you guys, you know, you guys could do TV. You know, <laughs> I look like Luke Wilson without the broken nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, well, the, the well, we're very happy. Hey, with man, it. I don't give a crap. It's a four-story banner for the That's Open Anthony right. program and XM Satellite Radio hanging off Madison Square Garden. That's pretty amazing. My man. dad would have been proud today. Do you, do you do, does this stuff? Any of this stuff ever not impress you? That's impressive to me. I can't. That, Shit is impressive. That's yeah. impressive. Man. That's a that's a biggie. The, that's the impressive. only time I was uh, there was only one other time I was really impressed, and that was when we had the uh, the Wow bumper sticker as a billboard in Times Square. In Times Square, that was pretty big. That was that's unbelievable too. Amazing. This to though, me, that's man. like. Did you ever get so famous where you're like, oh yeah, oh, yeah that's, 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 nice looking at me at the on the side, and they gave you the window. That's where people go up the escalator yeah, and, and look out. The but they can't it. look out anymore. Cause We're in the way. Right there. That's right. <laughs> they gotta look at our. You're still in the way. It's an assault on the escalator view. <laughs> we should. We're just, Opie, just we should go down there. Everything. 
We should go down there and just stand in front of it and see if people, if people notice that's, us. That'll be the shit. It's so just to, just to go, just to go. Hey, how you doing? Nice talking to you. See if they notice it's us. I'll do that. That's we'll go funny. down there. We'll go down there with a camera and see that's what happens. Funny. We'll do shit. that. I still like Honest to God, an entire autog- uh, like a, uh, a an entire paragraph when I'm signing an autograph. Oh, people say, hey, "Give me an autograph." I'm like, uh, "Dear, dear person." <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you for, so much. for It was great meeting you on the corner of Third. <laughs> and- <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. That is fucking. That yeah. is uh, uh, impressive, man. Honestly, God, yeah, it's New York, though. No one's gonna even notice. Yeah, that, no, that's, <laughs> that's stand right that's, under it. That's noticeable, man. And people just walk right by us. You ever see the P Diddy uh, fist in the air one in 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 Times Square? Yeah, yeah. That, you just you just look at yeah. it. It's a ama- it's just you just look at it. Yeah. You just that's pretty. Big. I don't care how big you get. That's got to be nah, like you know. Like, <laughs> look at where we are. There you Damn. go. That's cool. That's like cool, P man. Diddy, he's huge, but he's got to look at that and go, that is a big fucking that, billboard. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Damn, Damn, our heads are like 10 feet easily. Yeah. That's more than four stories. They said about four stories. That's way more than four stories, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could die if you jumped off the top of your banner. Oh, that'd be great. (laughs) (laughs) You would die before you hit the top of our heads. (laughs) You would die right at Opie's head. Bam. (laughs) That's where the heart attack uh, gets you. (laughs) They don't have to suffer. Yeah, you have time to think about it. That's a long drop. That building was in Godzilla, the Hmm. remake of Godzilla. That building is in, like, uh, Eddie with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, I would frame that. I would frame that. That's cool, yeah, man. Good one. All right, back Thank to you, poor, sense. back to Jose, the other side of the old human spectrum. <laughs> but am I concerned you seeing my mother? When was the last time you saw your mother? Two years ago. I don't know if she's alive. She's. But she's dead. But it hurt me. It's holidays, man. It concerns me. During the holidays. Said nobody else. All right, so now let me ask you a question. If we were to bring you with us on the homeless shopping spree and gave you money, what would you want to buy? Mm, I need some underwear first. So. Mm. What type of underwear do you wear? Do you wear boxes or do you wear briefs? Boxes. Yeah. Boxes. I don't got no underwear with me right now. You going? I bought sense. This is money. One dollar shot, ninety-nine cents store. Right. But right now you're going commando. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Ay, this is a person with light. Just, I'm looking for one person. Who is that person? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, That's oh, terrific. Dude. That's terrific. <laughs> Terrible man Keith, you are. You couldn't just buy him underwear right when he said. That yeah. You had to bring him here to underwear. win underwear. You couldn't get him a fucking pack of eight. Listen, it, 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 it's got to be a goddamn light in front of the Mr. Officer. It's got to be light at the end of the tunnel. I just can't give him this stuff Jesus. other than they don't show up. And have you seen the prices of underwear these days? What man, the fuck like are you buying? Them? Dude, I was looking at underwear the other day and. Anthony's so right with the packaging. Who can, you who gotta to go watch the that pack. shit? You to gotta get, have your chick to with you to get underwear now. You couldn't buy the we don't need no stinking badges guy some underwear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you don't buy. You, what, what are you boxer guy? What I'm, you a boxer, boxer? I'm a boxer. Boxer. Yeah. Uh, you can't buy underwear though without your chick these days because I don't buy the Fruit of Looms in the bags anymore. That's for like when you're fucking a kid, you know. Right. You that shit. I like. Nice underwear, but the boxes are so fucking homoerotic that you cannot possibly walk up to there and look. And it's just guys wearing these things with the fucking you know they've been at the gym their whole lives. Uh, uh, giant bulge in in the underwear, and you're supposed to go. I, I like those. Oh, yeah. you're talking about the the long briefs. No, no, just even man, even dude. even the regular just ones regular now. Bar- they they come some- like two pair in a cardboard box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some shit going on with the under. I don't know what the hell's going on, I'm, man. I'm, 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 they're I'm all, so and they're all packing. That, man. They got the, they got uh, just the waistband on the sides and some of these things. Waistband and room for package. That's yeah, it. that's it. That, oh, that's, that's like, a, a cup. That's, yeah, that's it's a sport just, just it's about. A, it's yeah. a glorified cup. Yeah, I, I wear I wear manly boxes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, boxes. You know, uh, just boxes. Boxes. Man. I don't like boxes because you take a leak, right? Yeah. No matter how much you shake, it still you, gets you wet. You walk <laughs> out. 
And you feel it at your kneecap. You feel it hit your, your drip hits your fucking kneecap. That's the sign. Let me tell you something. That is telling how old you are. Now, I'm diabetic and it's falling apart, but he's pretty hel- That tells you that he's an old motherfucker because he can't. It's, that's, his, that's his swollen prostate. No, no it is. Pro- <laughs> when you shake, it's supposed to be shook, motherfucker. <laughs> that is a long-ass cock that the piss still fucking high. You can't. It's like clearing out a pipeline, my friend. Still going to be a little oil in there even when and you it, shut the valve off. deep, too. <laughs> well, that water cold and it's deep. <laughs> and I, I could tell you when I was a friggin' teenager it was the same thing. Uh, you can't just... I'm not talking like a squirt comes out. I'm talking a one single droplet. And I just had my prostate checked like... Two Look and a half Anthony months ago, Anthony. I had a doctor's finger up my ass. That's right. Tell him, man. It was the first Tell time him. ever. He's like, fuck you, I ain't sick, nigga. I got a big... First time <laughs> ever. big, not my prostate. I had my cherry broke by that fucking doctor. <laughs> Me and my brother were talking about that shit the other it is, night. It is the strangest feeling. You got man. yours done, too? Oh, uh, it's the worst. Am I worst. that age? I'm 36. Dude, I had to change... the worst fucking I had to thing. change doctors because the doctor kept calling me in for more uh, things. I'm like, Ooh. stop. Stop poking. Wow. Stop poking me. You got to go... Now, when you go to a doctor, mm. you got to look at his fingers now. Look at those fingers because if it's like some big fucking Italian mook with those big fat sausage <laughs> fingers, you're not going to want to have him as a doctor when you get to the part where you need the prostate exam. I'm sitting in the room. It's just, you know, I'm getting a new, uh, uh, I got a new doctor, right. new doctor. I finally got a general practitioner. And uh, I, I go in there and I look at the sheet that he's got there and he's got a demographic like you'd have in radio, you know, 18 to uh, 25, 25, 35, 35, 45, and you look at the uh, uh, exams for the basic demos, and I look in my demo, and I see for the first time, prostate, and I go, here it comes, here it comes, here is the day that I've heard about from friends and everything else, and he saves it for last. He saves just when you think you're ready to go. And I'm thinking maybe I don't need it. Maybe he was able to tell by looking in my ear or fucking down my throat that I don't need this shit. I was putting my coat on. He's like, oh, one other thing. One more. Oh, oh, one and more then thing the stuff. movie music starts in your head. Da da. Have, a, have, a, have a seat, uh, yeah. Mr. Cumia. No, you won't be sitting matter for fact, this exam. <laughs> yeah. you know, matter of fact, don't have a seat. <laughs> it's just yeah. Le- lean over the fucking. Lean over the table. Lean over, lean over the butcher paper that I. Put Pulled out onto the table. My skinny, hairy legs were shaking. <laughs> I knew. I knew when he went for the glove. He he like takes the glove out and uh. puts it on. And then this big fucking nasty tube of lube. Absolutely no. And he turns eye around so he's not showing you him spreading it on his fucking face. Yeah. And then and then he goes, all right, uh, just grab onto the table. And uh, relax. <laughs> What's the proper? Is there a proper like sound that you should make? With, like you know what I mean? Like is a, gr- you know what I mean? Yeah, to, to how to be, how to make the sound of somebody sticking their finger in your ass without. It's uh. It, it be, this is the doctor finger in your ass. He sound. should mic everybody, and we <laughs> should we should have a doctor that, that has no morals to mic. Everyone that gets it up their ass, in. and we should just play it a montage. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're leaving over well, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Take down your pants. <laughs> uh, Doc, what's the glove for? Well, <laughs> uh, and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh yeah there's there's a sound that you have to make you don't want it to sound at all like you're enjoying it oh <laughs> billy yeah you don't want to go oh Actually, how about anthony. wait a minute how about <laughs> anthony, uh no through the magic of radio i i don't i guess i gotta admit this but uh i had the same thing done very recently and, yeah uh, you know because i wanted to take one for the team i, I actually uh-huh. recorded my response all right. It wasn't pretty, so if you will, you could uh, play that tape now. Here's me getting the finger. Wow. 
long, that's a long exam. <laughs> Well, you had to check my kidneys, too. What can I tell you? Wow. <laughs> All right, look, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. But since you're being so open and honest, yes, Opie, yes, yes. I, too, brought a tape recorder into my uh, my prostate exam. All right. And a um, little embarrassed, but uh, here it is. Oh! Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. The doctor joined in. <laughs> Sounded a little feminine. <clears throat> Uh, Anthony, I really, uh, I guess we're really going to be open here. Uh, I, there was a little more audio I had in the uh, examination room. Oh. This is actual audio of me just before the uh, the doctor had to do what he had to do with oh, that thing. right. Don't stop treating me, little one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Hopi. Figured why not uh, <laughs> get into it a little bit. Well... <laughs> I had the recorder going a little before the exam, too. And uh, right before it, I thought this was a little inappropriate of the doctor, but yeah, uh, this yeah. is how he put it. Uh, sure. This is how he put it. All right. You can get a doggy style. You can get a lady on your side. Those are your only choices. This is my house, and I get the same. Yeah, that was a little. That scared me right there. I was very surprised because I thought the doctor would be very professional, you know, because it's a very, very awkward and uh, time for someone when yeah. they get this done. It and, is. Uh, well, he had this to say uh, after the examination. You're a filthy whore! <laughs> oh, God, that's, that's terrible. I, uh, I was so degraded afterwards that I regretted going to that doctor, and uh, here's me in my Escalade before I pulled away. Uh, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, well, hmm. That's a shame. He did give me a compliment, though. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. This is a giant cock. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. It ain't swollen. It's just a big cock, baby. <laughs> ain't no swollen prostate here. Just a big cock. I think I'm more audio as it was uh, going in there. <laughs> really? There, Anthony, yes. Mama! <laughs> My doctor has an awful bedside manner because uh, this yeah. is what he said to yeah. me. Yeah. Stop whining! Yeah. Well, now that hurt. Yeah, sure. I'm do. All right. Uh, this is why we get paid the big bucks by the way, Patrice. <laughs> this is why, right here. Just in case you ever wonder. All right. More mm. Jose audio? Yeah, let's, uh, let's hear it. Okay. Jose, the homeless guy that Keith, uh, the cop, found and brought in with uh, <laughs> with half a Hulk face. Oh, half a Hulk. Half a Hulk. That's horrible. <laughs> you know, horrible. Dude. He's, <laughs> right now he's eating an egg sandwich outside uh, the studio. Shit, I'm not looking. And all I want to yell is, swallow, swallow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, he looks like a boxing pelican. Like you know, a pelican with a bed. <laughs> pelican. A pelican that just got punched in the jaw. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just. That's oh. like what you were talking about with the plane. His face is cantered. It, it, it's cantered, <laughs> motherfucker. That thing cantered. is cantered, man. Cantered. You, you can't land that face. You can't <laughs> land that face. If a pilot was looking at that face, you're like, folks, we're dead. We're dead as motherfucker. Because this shit is too cantered. <laughs> All right, more audio, Jose. I can't wait to get that guy in. Oh, Next week you come up to the studio, you're gonna meet Opie and Anthony. What's that? Who's fucking your lady? You have a girlfriend? Is that what you're saying? I'm looking for two beers, three. My wife, she fucked another man too. Your wife fucked another man? I don't know what she are. I don't want to go there and go to jail. Anyway, looking for my wife, my mother. I don't want to kill the guy or kids. I know she fucking my wife. Hi. Oh, great. Oh, that's boy. the guy that's right outside the studio, right? That's wonderful. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's, that, boy. That was half a Hulk faces on story, right? That's what he did. See, I just stopped. <laughs> Go get the Opie and Anthony wig out. I want to see how far we can push this guy. Oh, no. <laughs> we found your wife. All right. Here we no. Go. <laughs> that's what I you see. You fall in love with these bitches, man. Stop mm -hmm. falling in love with them like that. That's just, it. Just, That's love him, just love him enough. Right. Love him enough. 
Love them for the moment. Yeah, love them until you, you put expectations on them and drive you to fucking Then they leave and you're all fucked up. Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, turn you homeless and shit. Damn. If your girl left you, would you? Bitch, bye. You wouldn't care? I would care as much as I could until I found another bitch. But, but all right, all right. But until you did, would you be upset? Oh, upset, Like, would no. you be sitting at home going, man? Miss... Fuck that. I, wow. look, I would be upset-ish. I would go, shit, she's gone. I miss some of the things that I taught her. Yeah. You know how you teach a bitch enough stuff? It's like, she's your girl. If she fucking left me, I'd be like, damn, I got to get another girl. My girl. I got to make another bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like to, to cry and go bananas and lose your mind over the... Here's a word for everybody who turns 30 that they should stop saying when people do. Why? Don't ask why no more. The bitch leaves you. Goodbye, bitch. Don't be why. It's, it's over. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do? Get the f just bye, bye, bitch, bye. You're a tough cookie. I'm, and okay. It's not even tough. It's just reality. You see this poor guy. He's stinking badges. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stinking badges with different emotions. Stinging badges. Stinging badges. Stinging you know, badges. You no, know, you guys, we haven't taken a break yet. We've been on the radio so long, Jim Norton's about ready to wake up. <laughs> we, we didn't take we a break have since to take we started no. the show. We've, we've been going an hour and a half straight. So we got Patrice O'Neill in studio, Keith the Cop. Everyone's eating egg sandwiches. And we're going to get these latest homeless guys in the studio next, okay? We, we found Grey Wolf. He, we're going to tell him that he's a star now. He has no idea. And uh, Tippy Tom becoming a star because of this little thing we came up with, or Steve came up with. We, we gave Steve the uh, idea, and he... Uh, oh, I love this one. He did something great with this. We were baiting him during the time that he was in here to make him sing right. certain songs just so uh, something could be put together. And Steve, uh, in all his uh, genius... Put this together. Yes, here's Tippy Tom, the homeless guy, and uh, a little bit <laughs> going on. <laughs> I get back in and. <laughs> Hate to tell you guys, but the show doesn't end when we go to commercials. No, no, it continues. It was yeah. up to us, we would just do four straight hours so you could hear all of the goodness. Well, when we come in in the morning, uh, I, uh, I pull up in front now, and uh, Master Poe. Thankfully, Master Poe takes, takes my, my Escalade and drives it to the garage. And then uh, they, they uh, drive back in Poe's cars. I guess uh, uh, one of the guys will drive Poe's car over. Poe will drive my vehicle. And then uh, they drive back in the car. And, and I kind of notice, I don't know, I guess I should ask Poe about this or something, but I kind of notice little things <laughs> are changed in, in the vehicle. Which is fine. It's nothing big, like the seat location, but that's fine because he's uh, taller than me, so we'd have to adjust the seat. Uh, I know he enjoys the lumbar uh, feature, which is nice, kind of like a little back thing in the uh, the Escalade. You get back in your truck and the lumbar, the lumbar is like, down your... like I'm doing a back <laughs> thing. But Poe, uh, we've talked about that in the past. Uh, he enjoys the lumbar. I know that. Pull up a mic there, Poe. <laughs> Yeah, I love your car. You like the lumbar right on the seat? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, I like that. And then uh, uh, I noticed the, but that's cool because the seat, I get in and I got to pull, pull it forward because you're a tall guy and, and you know, that's fine. Right. Then I noticed I usually have 10, 10 wins or 88 on there when I come in so I get all the news. And I noticed, now this drive, mind you, is probably 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 45 second drive. But I notice sometimes it's on stations I never go to. So I believe Poe is, you know, just sampling XM. Do you do a little sampling of the XM? That's I, fine. The stations are right there. I love XM. I understand that. And that's I have I have no problem with punching around the thing. Uh, you haven't reprogrammed my home in this uh, navigation system or nothing, so that's cool. No. But now this morning, he comes into the uh, the office to give me the parking Car, garage ticket and goes uh, Anthony your car was talking to me this morning <laughs> I'm like what, what? He's talk now I'm thinking uh oh that's the first thing that popped in my head uh oh because I when I noticed that maybe you're just in the radio <laughs> and a couple of things that there are some vital buttons up on the rear view mirror that should never be touched one is it's a red cross and when you hit that your GPS kicks in, and police and an ambulance are sent to your vehicle if no one answers. 
it, it's it's uh, an OnStar emergency. Or they have the regular OnStar where you press and go, hey, where's the fucking Denny's? And they'll tell you where a Denny's is. Uh, and, and they'll give you, you know, turn-by-turn -turn directions to where a Denny's is. Now, I have always feared that perhaps when Paul was adjusting the rearview mirror, that he'd hit that button <laughs> and uh, police and ambulance would converge on my vehicle. Mr. Kumia, are you sick? Yeah. What? We're what? not getting an answer. <laughs> Deploy the airbags. <laughs> There's something. I... <laughs> uh, so so then when Paul came in and said, your car was speaking to me, uh, I had a fear that you had hit that button. No, no, I, I didn't hit that button. I, I was just cold. It's it's very cold outside in the morning. Now and I, I am I a put, cold guy too right. all the time. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, you sure are. the heat is always up to ninety degrees. I love and it. blowing full. Yes. So what could you possibly do to turn it up? I put my heat on the hottest it could be. I know it's the best he heat in the world. So, he put it up so high, <laughs> Chuck was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> we all sweat. <laughs> the the fan feature came on. It's <laughs> just like Whoo! a little fan. Ooh, baby, is Poe parking this shit? A mint julep comes out of the glove compartment. <laughs> oh, I need a mint julep. It's getting a bit warm in here. Poe, so why are you such a piece I don't, of shit? I I get I guess because now there's a button on the steering wheel. That you can press that goes to the phone feature. Now, I have a phone that it, when you press the button, it goes on star ready. And then you go, uh, call. And it says, uh, uh, name please. And I say, Opie. And it will dial Opie's number and I could talk. It's beyond hands free, no ear fit thing or nothing. And I'm assuming maybe you hit that button. Well, what I did is I, I was so cold that I placed my hands together really tight yeah. on my chest. And I think I possibly leaned it on the uh, steering wheel. On the steering wheel, and that could have hit one yeah. of the buttons. And then it started talking to me. And the car started I'd rather listen to music, but, you know. I had to talking. subdue the vehicle. <laughs> it was uh, he, he being boisterous and mouthing <laughs> off. I put it in a chokehold. He choked the truck. I choked the truck. You're, you're uh, lucky when you it, didn't hit the gas and do a tuck and roll. And out. <laughs> I, assumed in a, I assumed the trained assassin was in the back seat. I did what I was, I was trained for. I was trained for this. Tucked and rolled. <laughs> I just happened to explode on impact. I just happened to have a brick in my back pocket to put on the gas pedal. <laughs> Wait a minute, then he'll go. You don't have to thank me, Anthony. I, what? Nicky, <laughs> you blew my truck up. As I was tucking and rolling, I thrust my finger through the gas tank. Uh, as it hit the building and exploded, the uh, potential assassin in the vehicle that was speaking to me was eliminated. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Anthony. You're welcome. You don't have to thank me. Thank you for what? You blew up my truck. <laughs> No, 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 I saved your life. You don't have to thank me. I heard the assassin talking. Uh, <laughs> code name OnStar. I don't know what that means, but must have been his code name. Uh, he calls all the interns in office. Oh, great. Listen, you guys. You heard what I did to him. <laughs> Here's the story. Well, now, tomorrow. Ah, it's supposed yes, to have a, uh, a snowstorm here in New York. Ah. Four to six inches. And now it's supposed to be very snowy okay. on the way. So uh, uh, you are familiar with the, the vehicle's the safety features in the snow. It's got the anti-lock braking, uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, you have yourself some fun there. Just try to avoid any of the, uh, you know, any of the uh, buttons. He's going to do an evasive spin. <laughs> He's going to think, just in case somebody follows you in the morning. <laughs> He's going to do a, a Godfather. Nice drive, Lou. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Pat him on the back. Nice driving, Lou. <laughs> He's going to buy his own truck just like yours as a decoy yeah. vehicle. Uh, we going to Jersey? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Put a license plate that says Quantico 101 on it. Quantico. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my God. All right, let's go to Mark in Boston. He has a very funny OnStar uh, story. Mark, what's up? Hey, how you doing, guys? Good, Mark. Hey, last year I was at a Cadillac dealership looking at some new uh, vehicles, and uh, I happened to uh, be taking one for a test drive, brought it back, parked it, and hit the button playing with the OnStar mm. stuff. And I was alone. I didn't tell anybody. Didn't think anything about it. And about uh, ten minutes later, uh, the ambulance and the police show up uh, at, the, at the dealership, and nobody could figure out why. It was because I hit the button on the OnStar. Oh, man, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> 
Evidently, yeah. Evidently, it's a safety feature. If you hit it and don't say anything, they send the Yeah, they assume the worst, you know, and uh, uh, they send somebody. They, they were less than pleased. Yeah, I'm sure that happens a lot. They were not very I gotta think it happens a lot. Is OnStar always tracking you? Like, even when you're not calling it? They say no. They say no, that you have to hit that button before they can track you or listen in on in your vehicle. Because there have been times I've hit OnStar, and uh, I have to, let's say I'm re-upping uh, my minutes on the, the cell phone that's built into the vehicle. Uh, and there's some kind of an issue. So uh, they say, Mr. Cunha, we'll put you on hold. And they put me on hold, and I kind of forget. So I'm driving, and I'm blurting out some nasty shit, you know, at traffic. And uh, <laughs> they... <laughs> They can hear me you know, just fucking screaming at uh, people in front of me that, would that aren't being good. That may be people of color. But that they can tell what's wrong with the truck. They can tell. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, you know. A light comes on in your vehicle, like the check engine. <clears throat> you you can call on Star up, and they'll say uh, you got to take it in right away, or you just stop right there. You'll blow your engine up, or it's not an issue. Uh, continue driving. They diagnose it. They know where you are. They're like, uh, Mr. Kumia, we see you here at the corner of uh, 57th Street and 5th Avenue in Manhattan. Like, yep, that's where I am. They know exactly where you are. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, which I, is fine. That's nuts. It's a good alibi or bad, like... If you're doing some bad shit, yeah. do not be driving one of these Don't vehicles. buy a new car. Don't yeah. buy a new car. Uh, guy no. <laughs> stops his limousine in, in Queens on the side of the Bell Parkway to get gas. So he goes up to pay, leaves the limousine on. These two guys jump into the limousine, take off with it. So it turns out he has OnStar. So uh, I call OnStar on my cell phone. We're talking to OnStar. I got the radio in my hand, and they're telling me, yep, it's going 85 miles an hour down the Belt Parkway. That's some creepy shit. It got off in East New York someplace. They said, all right. They pulled up right in front of the <clears> club. <throat> they knew the club that it pulled up in front of. Sent the cops from the other precinct over there, and there were the two guys. They were in the bar hanging out drinking, sitting there. He saw the guys that oh, jumped in shit. it. Yeah. Boom. Mr. O'Neill, yeah, and it says here that um, they just, they stopped, they crashed your car, <laughs> then they walked back over to you, shook your hand, and you said thank you for the insurance scam, and you all hugged, and uh, then you called us. That's it. <clears throat> Motherfucker, I don't want that. I, I don't like, want that see, in my life. I enjoy it. I like them uh, knowing where I am if I need to get someplace, and I, I uh, pop them on, they'll tell me where I got to go. I'm not. I'm not uh, doing any criminal <laughs> I'm activities. Not doing any, nothing wrong. There's no problem with them knowing exactly where I am at any given moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love you it. No, I'm paranoid. <clears throat> I love it. Shit. That's the difference between the black man and it, the white it, man. It's, I'm sitting, I don't want to be known. The white man's like, I like the safety feature involved in them knowing where I am at any given moment. Black you, man's you, like, every ten minutes, you want them to go. Anthony, you okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, who the fuck's in my car? Fine. Like, fine. Just fine, Gladys. Thank my own personal sir. checking up on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul. Good job. Thank, thank you, guys. And uh, again, thank you. Yes. It, it is greatly appreciated. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, those cold mornings where I don't want to walk. We should, uh, <laughs> we should get to the story of the day. Well, Every there's two day. stories of uh, the day here. 25 years ago today, John Lennon shot... Shot dead. You're kidding. Doing How a, did it happen? They're doing a thing. Oh, no. They're doing a thing in my neighborhood. Oh, did you give Poe the homeless headphones? You are a prick. <laughs> that rocks. Uh, and then, of course, the other story is uh, what happened on that flight. We got the story here. Miami, yeah. 44-year-old Rigoberto Alpazar had been a passenger on board American Airlines Flight 924 when he was confronted. At some point, he uttered threatening words that included uh, uh, a sentence to the effect that he had a bomb. According to an eyewitness, Alpazar ran down the aisle flailing his arms with his wife not far behind, explaining his behavior as mental illness. <coughs> Authorities say he then ran from the airplane parked at the gate. After being ordered by marshals to stop, Alpazar obeyed but then made a move for his bag. Oh. He remained non-compliant with their instructions as he was attempting to <laughs> evade them his actions caused the fans to fire shots, and in fact, he is deceased. After the incident, Alpazar's backpack was found to contain nothing dangerous. Bags related to Alpazar, taken from the Boeing 757's cargo hold, were detonated by the bomb squad. No explosives of any kind were discovered. In fact, all of the bags on that plane were checked, and the plane later departed for Orlando. Authorities say this has no connection whatsoever to terrorism. Yeah. Well, kind of in a 
In a way, it does. Like, that wouldn't have happened years ago. Right. So it does have a connection to terrorism. It's the result of us being terrorized. Uh, the guy running up and down the uh, aisle of the plane, uh, the marshal shooting him. Uh, the, like a, a crazy guy running up and down the aisle of a plane, uh, September 10th, uh, 2001. <clears throat> Ah, who cares? Uh, ah. We ain't gonna shoot him. I observed the uh, the uh, I observed the suspect telling me he had a bomb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I observed. I was watching his suspicious behavior, and then I was uh, sure he did it. As soon as he said, "I got a bomb," <laughs> <laughs> it was something to the effect of, <laughs> "I'm gonna pull the trick." He, he wanted to kill himself. You know yeah. what? I know we have an officer sitting here, but mm -hmm. to come the fuck on. First of all, he's a Puerto Rican. Second of all, no suicide, suicide bombs sneak up on you. They didn't know he was a Puerto Rican at the time. He could have looked uh, Middle Eastern. Did you see this guy? I and see his picture. Awful white he, man. That's why he, he tried looks, to kill himself. He, he looks, looks Middle Eastern. He looks he Middle, Eastern. He looks he Middle look. Eastern. There's yes, nothing he Middle does. Eastern look looking about this guy. That is guy. one of those Middle Eastern guys. You're insane. You ever pull up to the gas station and ask <laughs> a, guy, a totally white guy directions, and all of a sudden they go, You're my friend. You go to go to. And you go, What the <laughs> fuck is that? No. Don't try they to look more like look a white like guy. A double, double. This the motherfucker. Double. Double, double. Double, double. This guy looks like a Patrice. Cuban, man. He does, definitely. Oh, my God. You well, know y'all wasn't you know supposed what? to shoot him, Keith. You know what, dude? You, oh, absolutely. He was supposed to get shot. Yeah. Yeah. He absolutely. was non compliant, and then he reached into the backpack. What bomber re What bomber goes, oh, shit. Watch out now. I'm getting ready to do my bombing stuff. They know he was crazy. <laughs> do my bombing stuff. Here it comes. I'm going to get my bomb on. <laughs> I'm about to get, oh, get my bombing on. Oh, I'm about to get all bomby up in this motherfucker. <laughs> like a cartoon. <laughs> Here's my detonator. I'm about to get Die Hard 2 yeah. over this bitch. <laughs> please, please comply. Not uh, shoot him in his arm. Or shoot. Nah. Why do y'all have to kill yeah. people? So no, why we gotta, gotta go for the big target? Yeah, we gotta we gotta kill one every once in a while just to show him we mean. <laughs> that's true show too. We ain't that up. shows. Uh, that's about. I say we sacrifice one every once in a while just yep. to show the people that are looking in that we mean business. I'll, I'll be, be fair, my friend. I'll be fair to you guys. And that's they were. True. That is true. Because a lot of the weakness that we that people is they watch a lot of television. Like those, they you ever watch those shows where a terrorist goes says something like, "You can't do nothing to me, Mister yeah. Officer." That's right. I, you are yeah. a policeman. Now I you can, will arrest uh, me, and I will be back on the streets yes. in a matter of hours. And the guy's holding a gun on him, and he's, right. his partner's telling him, "Don't do it! Don't do it!" Oh, that I'll cliche. be following you for the rest of your life. That cliche. Yeah. That's yeah. what they. That's what they think of us. Right. That's, they that's get right. the same. And they're not genius. They get the same info we got about us. Yeah. yeah. And, and from the you same know, bad I movies. will agree with it's you. A, it's a somebody got to get shot. It, it's yeah. a sucks to be you moment, but we're all safer because of Look it. Look how many years it's been, and this is the first Thank guy, <clears throat> first guy that's really been shot like this in this situation. Uh, that's not bad. I I think, and uh, me and Patrice were talking about this earlier. Uh, I don't see. One of these plain things like uh, a September 11th happening again ain't gonna happen. And and, and now you, the the <clears throat> committee, the commission that was put in charge of investigating 9/11, said that uh, the security in place isn't adequate and this, that, the other thing. It is. This ain't gonna happen again. And I'll tell you why. Not just because of the air marshals, because of the people. people. The one thing the people had on those flights, and only the ones that hit the buildings, was hope. It was hope that the terrorists or whoever it was at the time that they didn't know were going to just do what they said, take the plane. They watched it in how many movies? movies it right. lands. Movies. Women and children get off. You they get, negotiate. You Either free, they storm you get a, the plane. You used to get a free vacation. You're right. Hi hijacked to some crazy exactly. place. Exactly. <laughs> Those people aren't flown back right away. All of a sudden, they, uh, they, yeah. they show them a beach in a hotel now, for a I'm few days. I'm going to get asylum in Hawaii. Calm yeah. down, everybody. And I'm telling you, yeah. they took over those planes with those with the with the box cutters because box cutters. they said, "Listen, the, it. W I don't think it was. It, this is all speculation, but I don't think it was chaos on the planes. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I think it was just a bunch of guys going. Listen, we just want a asylum in Cuba. If you relax, no one gets yeah. hurt until the buildings show up. And that's why the other flight that oh, fought right heard about the other. Now shit. look at how long it took." A few minutes and a couple of phone calls to the pl other plane uh, that uh, crashed in Pennsylvania for them to realize, uh-oh, they're crashing into buildings, and then their hope goes away. There's no hope that this is going to work out nice, and then they take the initiative and right. start doing stuff, spur of the moment. Now, we've gotten to the point where if, if a maniac is running up and down the aisles, the air marshal, boom, he's up. If there was no air marshal on that <clears> flight... 
the fucking people on the plane would have tackled this motherfucker. It's precedent. It's and precedent. So now it's not, it's not going to work anymore with a box cutter or anything you can get on an airplane. It's Man. just not going to happen like that anymore. 9-11 no. was precedent. 9-11 yeah. was like... Oh, that was fixed this shit. And you're still gonna go like this as a as a as a person. You're gonna go first. You go before 9/11. You go, oh shit, I'm about to go to, I'm about to go to fucking Israel. Uh, yeah. Now yeah. you go, oh shit. This I'm is about how to, it's gonna. Do end. I die right. getting shot yeah. right now on the mm -hmm. plane? You take. All right, I'll take getting shot right now on the plane mm -hmm. than waiting to fly into a building. Yeah, exactly. So even if a guy gets on and goes, "All right, just relax, man. We we just we're political refugees," and it's like, "Nigga, you see it. You you're dead. better have a hundred and fifty rounds in that fucking thing. You should have stayed and be there. To get them off <laughs> because everyone on this plane is going to be on you. All right, we got a story from Sal in California. Sal, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, uh, Mike. My mother-in-law just uh, went to San Francisco airport. She took a trip down to uh, Nicaragua. She's there right now. But she went through the metal detector, and uh, she had to get strip searched because the metal detector kept going off. So they took her into a private room. Now, give it, granted, this lady's like 60-something years old, and they're strip searching her. She's <laughs> with her older sister. You can imagine what that's like, you know? Yeah, it's probably so, pretty exciting for the broad. Yeah, there's a lot of places <laughs> for uh, white women to hide shit. Just to be honest. <laughs> You know, a couple of wrinkles can get a detonator or two on the plane now. Come on. I mean, let's face it. Let's be fair now. Do you know what you can fit in a drop box? <laughs> Come on, man. You know, those let's be fake, honest here. Those fake Gucci bowling bags. You know what yeah. the old ladies bring. Uh, 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 reminds me of a joke I heard on XM Radio. It's like, what is that, a fuse? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, your joke just flew into a building. Wow. Yeah. If some guy's on a plane with that joke, the air marshal's shooting him. He's shooting No one survived that joke, sir. <laughs> sir, put, no, I'm just reaching for some funny. Ah, uh -uh, don't. <laughs> uh, after his shot, they realized there was no joke in his backpack. <laughs> they blew up his baggage anyway and still found no joke. <laughs> and no one laughed. All right. Steve in Rockland. Steve, what's up? Yeah. You want to talk about a shitty day at the airport, man. That woman watched her husband get killed and had all her shit blown up to boot. Oh, my jewelry. Yeah, can you imagine? You know, fucking awful. All right, guys, have a good day. Uh, yeah, that is bad for the wife, you know. She's married to a nut. <clears throat> Guy loses it on the plane, gets shot dead. Did you see her? Blow her fucking Samsonite she up. She might be thinking. Did you look at her? Did you? Yeah, when you, when a little, you, little you, off. Oof. <laughs> I'd kill myself. A little off. Well... Well, imagine being a passenger on a fucking plane. Because now they take everyone's bags out and spread them out on the runway. They made everyone leave the plane from the stairway with their hands on their head. You get down there. Uh, it's just a fucking wreck. You ever How see many, that you just show, think it, And it's from Miami to Orlando. It's not even like a long flight. Uh, right, that, right. Last one off in here. Keep the cop, sir. It's a flight from Miami to... What, there's not enough fuel. There's not enough anything to do with any act on a. No one blows up a flight from, flight from Orlando first, right? to Miami. Miami to Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Don't blow that up. All right. You need a plane full of fuel. Done. Let's get Gray Wolf in here. Let's say mm. hi to the Gray oh. Wolf. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, as we get him situated, uh, from time to time, Nathaniel uh, watches TV for us and finds some wacky moments. Certainly. And we got a newsreader acting wacky. Instead of just reading the news, Ant, they got to uh, they got to try to bring on the funny. I'm pre lysoling I understand. Hey, uh, fan, can you? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get some water from Patrice O'Neill. Hold on a second there, Gray Wolf. Oh, so, really fast, here's a, a quick clip of a newsreader uh, trying to bring on the funny. All right. They're also going to be for the next year to celebrate the 80th anniversary of the first publication of the first Winnie the Pooh story. There's going to be a Broadway show and all sorts of other promotions. So, you're going to be inundated with Pooh next year. <laughs> she said poo. <laughs> Thank you, Dagan. Thanks, Jerry. Have a good day. <laughs> In this Holy instance, shit. it's totally appropriate. How mature. Wow. Oh. And that's edgy for them. That is. Uh, nervous. She's nervous about she her job. She's absolutely that. nervous about I, that. I said poo. I said poo. Oh. Ugh. Uh, Can you come in here, Janice? You know. Nothing beats <laughs> uh, tax cunts and the Shepherd Smith. Um, blowjob, J Lo blowjob. Do we have those? If we could get those. Yeah, let's play those today. Do you got the tax cuts? That's tax hard to find. I think we lost that. Cunts. Tom Brokaw, MBC Nightly News. The president's tax cuts. He said it ju just like that. Knew he said it. 
knew he said the word cunts, clear as day, and there's a little pause. Then he goes back into it and, and didn't miss a step. <laughs> but the pause was so telling, like, uh-oh, I just saw the word cunts on television. Tax cunts. <laughs> it's so clear. I hope you can find it. I don't know if we Hawk have that anymore. Hawk is searching diligently. I think that was one of those things that we might have lost. Damn it. <laughs> he well, did someone the, email he, it. He did the yeah, look, email left, it or something. left to right when he said it. Tax he did. Cunts. The president's tax cunts. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm so fucking fired. Ladies and gentlemen, back in studio, the one, the only, Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf. It's a standing Gray ovation. Wolf. I'm not standing, but it is a standing Hi. ovation. Yeah. Gray Wolf, how are you? I'm okay. And my you? friend. Are you still homeless? Very good. Well, just five days ago, I just lost everything. Again? Uh, yeah. That's, uh, I've Hurricane? Been, I've been working. No, no drinking. I was straight up. I met this fantastic young woman. That's oh, oh uh, we got to uh, remind people. This guy gets a lot of pussy, man. Oh, God. we've known you for a few it's years. That, this guy that last time I brought the girl over, she flashed you guys. It's the, the Indian thing, man. You the chicks be. dig that fucking Indian thing. It has to be. <laughs> what uh, what type of Indian? My mom is a Chiricahua Apache. My dad's Puerto Rican, and it's pretty wow. cool. The, it's like. Um, Two stones that sh sparks up and the flame just ended up in me, man. Look at that Indian type <laughs> fucking analogy he just how put does, there. How does how this is the mm, un like this two is stones the unfairness <laughs> of life? How is this guy is mesmerizing, and you can see the genius that he explained that analogy. I think yeah. people use analogies of genius. That two sparks that this There's motherfucker two separate stones <laughs> you know what, that going, apart are just. What they are, but brought together, it's a divine spark. Yeah, yeah it created me, man. It's mm. just like are unique. you uh, are you ready to sing today at all? Um, I you can't can... sing at all. I, yeah, I brought some of my flutes. I could have played something, but I just like your voice sounds imagine. exactly the same as it always is. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, man. Wait a minute. On a good day, he's like, hey, about, hey, everybody. On a bad day, he's like, hey, everybody. Three days ago, I just messed it up. I had a nice, clear voice. But we're thinking just, John like, Lennon. Maybe you, you do a Beatles song or something for us today. I have. Um, let me see. You could do a little something, something uh, on the flutes. Yeah. I, I wish I would have brought the CDs and stuff with me and the, some of the music. I could have done some background music with that. Well, don't go mm. disappearing on us. We've been trying to no, find you for months. I, I want to stay with the station, and I would love to hear my my so famous song that oh, I. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you remember it, uh, recording it? Yeah, I remember I sung some of the words like. Uh, well, you were singing a song to Tippy Tom, who was yeah. in there. Now, do you have? Uh, did you just stop? Or do you have more words to that song? Or were you just riffing and making it up as you went along? No, like I, I actually, I rehearsed all those words with Tippy Toe. And every time he, he was listening to it, he was starting to cry. And it inspired me more. Yeah. I said, if he feels this way, then these words are really, <laughs> you know, touching. So you have more words to that song? Yeah, there's a little ending part. Oh, oh look, look at that. Yes, finish the... I yeah, said my, everyone see, I needs my the song. I need the rest of the song. <laughs> everyone, everyone has the song, but we need the finish. I, I cry. <laughs> I'm not homeless, I, yeah. but I feel yeah. homeless. I just gave like uh, half of the song up that day because I thought, you know, maybe just a little piece to get them interested. Gee, that was uh, yeah, no, that was the was day to do be, the whole song. Everyone was telling me that fucking homeless marketing genius, you yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's only giving us half the story. Now we got the second half. Pay per view, baby. That's like that's <laughs> like Kirk. <laughs> that's like Kirk on. I only half it smells like Teen Spirit. Let's go play half that shit. Lifestyle. Get the rest. Yeah, you get the rest. That's all for today. <laughs> well, it really, if you guys worked that thing up and made it like the way Keith put it to me, it's like, listen, man, it's a. And it, the guys, it's, they, it's I said, a, how they feel about it, they love it. Everyone loves Dude, it. It's a minute forty-nine right now. You do the ending. We got something. I'm telling you, we got it's something. It's genius, I, I, man. They're I already playing it on the blues channel. Throw the chorus in again. Car with me or anything like that. Another verse and chorus and then. Have the flutes with me. I don't have the guitar. You don't even but, need the guitar because uh, you got a great producer behind you. Drew Boogie really uh, made this song smoke. Well, he needs the guitar probably so he can well, just. He brought a guitar. Yeah, what kind of guitar is that? It has six strings and made out of wood. It has these keys that you could like two right, right, right. What kind of gu guitar is that, Danny? Uh, that's the Jägermeister Schechter that they sent out. Right. Oh. Yeah. 
Is it acoustic? It's an electric, but we do have an amp you can plug in. Well, into. no, because the thing the thing is, we probably just want to mic your voice. Right. You could play the guitar so you could hear it, but we want as little of the music mic as possible. That way we can then take it yeah. and Drew can uh well, can work his you magic. know, if we get a, like a moment, a break or something like that, I can like work it up a little bit. It, yeah, tune it to my voice. Oh, absolutely. Well, why don't we play? Then we, we make a comeback, and I'll have the ending. But uh, can I hear, the please? Yes. All right. Absolutely. Please. Well, this is can what uh, that we really can't take credit for. This uh, Drew Boogie took Drew what Boogie's you did. Drew genius. Who's the Drew Boogie? He's not here today. Oh, God. But he took your little song that you did yeah. that day. Not a little song. It's a very powerful song. It's one of yeah. the best blues songs I've ever heard in yeah, my entire great. life. And the Blues Channel's playing it here and there on XM. You should request it on the Blues Channel. Actually, they want to interview you on the Blues Channel. Now that we found great. you. But and by the way, uh, one of the friends had me uh, going to uh, Bellevue uh, Bar up in... Oh. Uh, here bar, in New okay. York City. <laughs> when you say Bellevue. And it's... Uh, <laughs> It is, must be very crazy. It's like bars, and it, they they're gonna have me come and play uh, Saturday night at nine o'clock. Holy so shit, he's got a plug. Are, it's a real plug. Shit. Ben just handed so me the plug. So if you guys want, you hold on, I'll do it for you, you Gray Wolf. <laughs> Gray Wolf will be appearing at the Bellevue Bar, like you said, Jesus nine p.m. Christ. Saturday night. And that, uh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Am I going to be around, sir? I don't think you're going to be around. Patrice, Saturday. where are you going to be? I, why, why, why? See, even the homeless guy knows how to there. plug. Patrice, yesterday, no fucking plug. Well, Thanksgiving, I played the song and I changed you wanna, some of the words. You want to warm up the gray wolf? I wish I could sun. tell people what Patrice's face looks like right now. And, and I was a marketing <laughs> ploy, which is give him a little bit of it, baby. Yeah. And then it right. all work. It's wor I'm watching a career on fucking fold. <laughs> I've not been homeless, and I've been consistently a comic for 13 years, and I'm not as big as fucking great goddamn half a Puerto Rican wolf. <laughs> <laughs> And we he has a catch. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> we have discovered the, the next Leonard Cohen. He's sitting right this next to you. This is genius, man. All right, here we go. Gray Wolf, Bellevue Love Bar, 9 p.m. Saturday night. We want uh, a, a lot of listeners to show up. Give the support and to Gray Wolf. Hold on. Bellevue Bar is at uh, 40th Street and 9th Avenue. All right. Yeah. Damn, I'm not gonna be around. I'd be bring, there in a second. Bring as much cash as you can. I'm gonna have a hat in front of me, man. There it is. Hey, we rent. gotta go there. Someone's gotta go to the gig and tape it. Yeah. yeah. So we can get some video online. That'd be great. One of the, you, one of you guys will figure that out, right? All right. Here, here's your song, uh, Gray Wolf. Let me hear. Yeah, give a listen. We uh, titled it "Shelter Me." Is that cool? It it was it's all right, but you know the the name that was like uh, "Shelter Me." From the pouring rain, it should be shelter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I here like it is. It. Here it is. <laughs> Let's see how this Can I comes out. All right. They're right there. All right. Here we go. I got a break.
see? Yeah, he set it up at the time. That's a little piece. A he had the second piece. part in his head that day. <laughs> he should have said, he should have said suckers. <laughs> at the end. Yeah, suck little ass. Piece, suck Please up. deposit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Please deposit. Say it again. Oh, that's genius, man. <laughs> it was just to keep, you know, I knew if I did it like that, I'm going to get somebody interested and make sure that they're going to come out looking for me. What would you think of Drew's, uh, what would you think of the music be, Drew put behind it? It's great. And that good, right? That part was... Take got homes. Yeah. yeah. Don't you have <laughs> homes? Hey, I got a cocktail uh, napkin over here. Could you just sign right here? <laughs> <laughs> just a little signature. <laughs> and and while he was listening, oh, he was like, it looked like he was going, I would add a little more uh, AP67 to yeah, it. Yeah, but, uh, he needs to produce it. Yeah, this, yeah. this Drew Boogie's okay, but... Uh, Fucking no. Diddy's going to produce it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's thinking Diddy. Let's uh, say hi to Scott in Utah. Scott, what's hey, up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Grey Wolf. Yeah. Hey, that song when that when you guys released that song and Drew Boogie remixed it, I was very heavily into gambling. That song changed my life. I heard that song and I thought about the possibilities of what could have happened if I keep gambling and what could possibly <laughs> go wrong. And Look at that. Is, Can you imagine yourself getting wrong. kicked out the stations? You're, in the you're changing range. lives. I, just, oh. I, couldn't, I couldn't do it no more. I can't do it no more. Oh, that's that's great. About what you go through and what Tippy Tommy and hearing that song, I just I can't do it no more. I just want to think. If I could change great. one life around into a better man, I think I've done my job. Well, you definitely changed mine, man. You did You're your welcome. job. You're welcome. And right. you know what? Thanks. Thanks to Great Spirit that gave me this uh, oh, lyrics to touch people, it. man. You know, the, 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 most, to the, uh, most, the best part of it the, that gets me is the cop going, Hey, you smell bad. Get out of here. It's like, that's the one that, like, makes me go, fuck, is that so real? Hey, you smell bad. Yeah, you know? He's got all this talent, and that's all. Yeah, yeah hey, you, you smell say, bad. Get, get out, out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like, oh, that brought it, like, to a place. You know what I'm saying? We got your producer on the phone. Drew Boogie, everyone. What up, people? There What's up, is. Drew? Hey, Drew? Genius, Drew. Genius, man. Hey, no, thank you. Hey, listen, uh, uh, Grey Wolf, I just yeah. wanted to say, if you're going to do it, uh, you got to do the whole thing so I can, you know, because otherwise, if, yeah, you I'm gonna... it, if you do it at a different pace, I won't be able to match it up with the first part. Uh, no, I think I think the, the same way I played, I played it there. It's just the way I like the melody. It's just very it's so gentle. So maybe we could set up the some... The thing is that this song is done with flutes, like pan flutes. And um, then yeah, I did it with pan flutes and singing it, and then pan flutes again. And it's like really great that part of. Uh, can, can, part you guys, of the can you guys do this in one of our studios, you think? Yeah, yeah we, we can, can We can get all that. Why don't we get some studio yes. time? We get Grey Wolf back. We get Drew Boogie. You guys work it out together. He'll redo the whole song, and we'll see what we got. That'd well, be I'm great. I'm going to see Grey Wolf on Saturday anyway. So. All yeah. right. You've been listening. Well, huh? Yeah, Grey Wolf's oh, going to yeah, be at cool. Bellevue Bar, 9 p.m. Saturday night, 40th Street and 9th Avenue. And I'm going to need a guitar. I don't have one. He doesn't have even a have a guitar. He's got a gig. Oh. He doesn't even have a guitar. I have a friend that's Patrice. selling a guitar for 200 That's like Patrice like plugging his, his stand up and going, hey, little, someone bring I'm the microphone. Together. This guy is going places. I'll bring it Nothing's going to stop this guy. Drew's going to bring you. All right, Drew will bring you a guitar. Is this like an acoustic electric? I have an app that I can. Uh, I can't put tell you how bummed. I am that I'm not going to be in town this weekend. Oh, God. That's going to be the... Uh, I would... You know what it is? I hope the, uh, a, a lot of fans from there, the show go down You know there. what this is going to be like? Being in a small club in the village in the 60s and seeing Dylan for the first time. Oh, my God. That's what it's going to be like now. <laughs> You're you see, it's friend. the opportunity it's so to see great. Dylan. Hey, wait a minute, Ben. That's No Filter Paul's guitar? Yeah. Fuck No Filter Paul. But what? If we, if we is that him? his Get Us in Trouble guitar? Well, I don't think he's claiming it. Fuck no filter, Paul. We'll give him steaks or something, man. He ain't playing that guitar. He's not gonna play it. He'll. But Grey Wolf, if we give you that guitar, they're gonna they're gonna steal that from you on the street, aren't they? Yeah. No, they won't. Oh yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah, they will. They will because this goes straight into a place where I work. Now. You see, I have a day job now. Oh, you People do. People trust me. I work at the. 251. No, no, no. They, well, they don't give out the address. Where you Street. What do you yeah, do? So they could see me. I deliver money to the bank. Sometimes Whoa. I, oh, you shit. know, I stock up <laughs> That's the great. beers Jeez, for maybe the you guy from be telling Tommy anybody Tommy this. and everybody That's that great. drinks. He's laundering money. I'm the one that puts <laughs> that <laughs> laundry. People don't trust me. I'm, no. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm not announcing anything. I don't carry money nowhere. The, Patrice is boggled by this entire thing. Because it's he's, it's he's a genius, right? 
But I'm like, did it just happen yesterday? Or, like, <laughs> did he recently become like this? Or it's like, if he's like this his whole life, he's about to be famous. Yeah. Like, he's like, come see me at the Bellevue Bar. But it's like, did he not do that 30 years ago? He, or he didn't have the voice or... What the f what's, what's going on? What were you doing like 30 years ago? Yeah. And that's kind of fits you because it's got this, the big fucking Someone stag called on, no the, like on the front. The, Someone like call No Filter Paul. We want to hand this guitar over to him immediately, but uh, it really is Paul's. This is going to be me? Moi? Maybe. we got uh, we got to work it out. Well, how, how many songs will you be playing Saturday night at the Bellevue Bar? Well, I have a track that I have done with uh, some of my friends, and I, I'm using it to play... The flute music behind it. I only got like Carlos Santana's uh, Europa that I do with flutes and the guitar, and I have the, the song. But I retitled it and I sung it to my girl because I didn't know it was going to be popular with the homeless song. And I re redid it with the lyrics saying uh, the same in the beginning, but instead of I have no home, it's like it's late at night and I'm on my way home and an angel of light appears dancing in the midnight sun and that's the way she appeared to me and her name is Mecca by the way the Jesus she's just finally got in touch with her dad through the internet she's been like away from her dad since they you know personal stuff that Does I really want to bring in she stayed with me and a friend's and in the Queens and he put us up for a while <laughs> That's cool. Funny stuff. I had to come back to the streets. I got her in somewhere else because she just got it. She just started working. Yeah. The way we met, it was funny. I saw this big, white, beautiful uh, dog, and then he's with this guy with dreadlocks. And this, I grinned and I said hello. And his name is Many Pass. He's a, a traveler. And she is this girl. She's like with him and. Well, so the next day, they just, like, fed them and everything from the shish kebab truck. And the next day, she was, like, stranded. And she says, you left me, and I got nowhere to go and all this. And I says, so come on downstairs to the train station. I'm going to perform down there and make some money. And we'll go eat. <laughs> perform down at the Two and a half months, she's been with me, and we still best of friends. We've been going everywhere. We love Come on, Mexican restaurants there and stuff is like that. Shit going there has on. not been any sex okay. in our lives yet. Oh. And we've been keeping it like that for we make it into a special moment where we feel that is right. But everybody, anybody see, else, I'd just, call him a fan. Old man. Gray Wolf, I'm right where he's. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm celibate now. <laughs> I've been no, like that for nine years. For My me, daughter's man. nine years old. So Barbara and me broke up. <laughs> First time I went on the shopping spree, all I did was buy stuff for my daughter and my wife. That's right. I was very much in love. I That's still... why we do the home shopping spree. Yeah. See, we're doing some good out there, Gray Wolf. This is, yeah. this is and the thing is, but I, I could, I could believe that girls are doing that. I, the best part, and I never got a copy of the picture. Santa Claus, they sat on his lap. She went to sit the girl on his lap, and she says, no, she sat on my lap. And when the picture was ready, she just flashed, and Santa Claus's jaw hit his knees. And Martha was, like, trying to get a blanket over her. It was incredible. i never forget that. All right, hold on. We got uh, The phones are going nuts from all over the country. Let's say hi to Will in Denver. Will. 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 Gave you the big Stop, intro man. here, Will. You're in. You're on. Will from Speak. Denver, he wants to buy that song. He just wants to download it and buy it and make sure you get some money off it. Let's go to Hector in Brooklyn. Hector. Yo, what's up? What's okay. up? Make it fast because the phones are really nuts right now. Grey Wolf, man, I wanted to thank you. That song gave me hope, bro. I went through a divorce, and I know all about that money's gone, and so all yeah. my friends. Bro, thank you, bro. You're welcome. Look at that. Uh, and just one that great spirit, man, because he's one the one minute. that gave those words. I, I can't take credit for any of that. All right. Great spirit is the one that touches me when I put words like that. Great spirit. Look at that. Let's go to Ryan in Jersey. Jesus, Did you know there was a great spirit? I don't believe in Santa Claus, but I believe in the great spirit I now. I believe in anything he says. That's fucking you know, right, man. Rudolph is a hunk of shit, but the great spirit is I'm, 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 I'm all about the great hey, spirit now. I love Rudolph. Don't knock him off Fuck like that. Rudolph. I love his red nose, drunk. man. Fuck him. I mean, uh, uh, Ryan in Jersey. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Fucking didn't mean this to say is Ray Wolf. That is an amazing song. I just wanted to ask you though: as many times as I heard, I've heard that song. I can't make out the two lines after you. The cop says, "Hey, get out of here. You smell bad." Me either. Uh, 
uh, maybe if they played it, I could probably hear it, and I'll let you know. Cause I was... All right, well, where is All that right. damn thing? Let's play it. Hey, you yeah, smell I'll bad. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't get. It. I don't hear that either. Well, when we get a real copy of the song with uh, with Drew Boogie, oh, Drew Boogie hung up. They're gonna do this in the studio. You're gonna yeah. do the second half of the song today. Yeah, just well, to give us a taste. Of the thing is that I have no idea. Like I said, I've been. I forgot totally about this whole thing, and uh, it just started to get me. Like the to shelter me from the pouring rain. It's like, just hit me a little while ago before I entered the st inside here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, wow, I forgot all about that. Right, It's right. like... Well, you, it's, you'll get with Drew Boogie and you guys will work it out yeah. together. Let's say hi to... Then I can make up words from there on. Jeff in Indiana. Jeff? Hey, Owen, hey, Patrice, how you doing? Hey. So, Gray Wolf? Yeah. I want to tell you, that fucking song is a tearjerker. And I want to <laughs> say to all the news media... And everybody who thinks that O and A don't do any good, fuck you. All right, I'm that is out. great. Thank you, Jeff. We got girls that are calling in. They want to sing oh, back up. Groupies. You get some of that. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine oh, getting that God. soul in the back? Let me tell you, the, let me tell you that, the cult genius thing he did that almost envisioned cult hero. Yeah, is I don't have a guitar. Uh, yeah, somebody bring a motherfucking guitar, and everybody just has instruments that he needs. Right. And he don't even go to his shows with instruments. You son of a bitch. That's a real musician, though. That's he, he just feels it, man. He's like the oh. old school blues guy. Drew Boogie's like, hey he'll, man, he'll play a spoon if he has to. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's say hi to No Filter Paul. Good. Hey. Hey, Paul, what's up? Um, I haven't been listening. People just emailed me, told me to call. So what's going on? Uh, what's going on? We want to give the guitar to Grey Wolf. Are you talking about the December one? Uh, the the Jägermeister uh, guitar that you won. What would it, I would have won this month? You mean? Um, I think it was part of your prizes last month. Okay, because I already have that. Well, there's a guitar in the studio, and they're saying it's yours. That, well, it's, it's not. <laughs> oh. But if it's December's, you know, because I know you guys canceled it because some idiot didn't follow the rules. But, uh... No, I, no. We don't want the December guitar. We want the guitar that you have right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's Jesus. like trying to be half nice. Well, uh, if I win for December, I already have one guitar, so I guess you could give him the second guitar I would have won. No, 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 I didn't understand. The guitar that is sitting in your closet that you'll never play, we want you to give to Grey Wolf. Wow, that's what you want? Yes. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Tax oh, cunts. Man, you have no idea. Tax cunts. No you Paul. know you're on the air, right? So Obviously. You say the right no thing. No filter Paul has no idea what he's doing for himself you, right now. You between the I wall assumed and the sword. That once he said he had his guitar with him, and then that one sitting here, that that would be Grey Wolf's, but Opie wants to take your guitar I'm, from you. No, listen, I'll tell you what I'm doing right uh, now. All right. Yeah, we can hand him that guitar. Uh -huh. I'm testing Paul to see how, what kind of a heart this motherfucker has. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. And no filter sure. Paul hasn't listened uh, to the past 20 minutes, man. You're doing yourself a great disservice right now. You have no idea, man. <laughs> We're talking about the gray spirit and everything, you, and you're you're debating if you should give up a guitar. They put you, know you against the wall and the, and the sword. You got to do it <laughs> One, by two, your One, two, three, four, five people on hold all saying if Paul doesn't give the guitar, they'll fucking go out and buy this guy a guitar. <laughs> it's, 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 they don't need him. He's a, he's a cult figure. Yeah. You know, it's like the red the guy that won't give up the Red Sox of the the ball for the World right. Series. That's yeah. right. It's like you got to give him the guitar. Imagine Paul being the guy. There are that... times in your life where you're put in a bad situation where th th you have no choice. You don't want to give up your shit, but you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> it has to go. Everyone's from your heart. looking. Ah, Obi, what, Obi, what if he's like, <laughs> but uh, Eric Clapton just signed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like you gave Hendrix. Imagine being the guy that like gave Hendrix a guitar. Yeah. Because he didn't have one. That's what your position you're in right now. Does it feel comfortable in your hands, Bray? Yeah, man. Well, that guitar is yours. If we have to buy one, we'll fucking buy one. Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, he hung up. Fucking man. That was cold. There are times in your life you have to show a heart. I know that's coming from me, but you fucking have, have to him show deported. a heart. Fucking Paul. That guitar is yours. We'll figure it out uh, what we have to do to replace it. Great. Thank you, Jägermeister and the Jägermeister uh, music. Why tour. was that guitar earmarked for this something? I don't. I don't even know. But I, all I know is that man needs that guitar. <laughs> That's all I know in my stupid head today. 
I'll go back to being a prick tomorrow. That guy needs that I fucking hear guitar. What this guitar could do. Well, let's plug it in. Let's we got a little amp. Do you have the amp? Let's Get plug it in, amp. man. Now yeah, this guy is. What this could do. You know, here it is, Anthony. The Jägermeister Music Tour featuring Disturbed with special guest Corrosion of Conformity. I didn't bring yep. my blue They're giving out all sorts of shit, including a uh, Schechter. And, well, he's, he's talking. All right. Well, we got uh, tour prizes from Schechter, <laughs> Coffin Case, and Peavy. Uh, you can get tickets for the uh, Corrosion Conformity and Disturbed show at Ticketmaster Outlets or go online, Ticketmaster.com. For more tour information, visit JägermeisterMusicTour.com or www.disturbed one. Dot com. Brought to you by Jägermeister Liqueur, 35% alcohol by volume. Man, everyone wants to talk to Grey Wolf, but we want to give a pair of tickets out to see Disturbed and Corrosion Conformity in uh, Jersey. They're playing Jersey. Uh, Starland uh, Theater tonight. Okay, so you're, if you're close to Starland Theater, you could get your ass over there, and you want to see Disturbed and Corrosion and Conformity, give us a call. we got tickets and uh, VIP passes and... And and thanks for you, okay? We'll take right. a random caller right now to the radio program. And ah. the first time we did the homeless shopping spree, we got on the subway, all of us from 14th Street, and we came up. Yeah. And we got to the stop, and Grey Wolf looked at me, and he, he thought it was one of those scams where it's like, yeah, come get a color television. And he looked uh. at me, and he said, <laughs> he says, I, I don't want to go. I said, no, trust me, I'm, I'm not fucking with you. You can come, and we're going to have a good time. And he says, no. I don't want to it's go. It's where they gather you up and take you to jail. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly mention. what it said. I, I just, you know, I, I looked at him and I told him, I said, trust me. I said, I, This is know, like something from Beat Dads or something. Legit. That's and Yeah, I, I've seen it on Cops where they have the big color <laughs> yeah. television and they bring it to the house. Yeah. And then the guy comes to the door and he's all happy and the cops are like, all right, come with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Joe in Jersey. Joe, make it fast. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm inspired here. I'd like to donate some money to to, to the charity here, help Grey Wolf out. Or I, I smell charity here. Let's do something good. Well, we're trying to do something good. The, the homeless shopping spree, if you join us, because we like uh, all the fans to go to the mall and help these guys shop in an orderly fashion. And uh, most of the fans end up giving these guys uh, the money in their pockets. I'm telling you. Don't well, I'll, I'll, I'll pledge $200. These guys walk away with us uh, nice cash and uh, and gifts every uh, every time we do this homeless shopping spree. I don't well, even think you need to you enter Grey Wolf yeah, in the, in the, in the fucking like contest anymore, money. man. It's like... I live 10 minutes from the star of the room. I'd love to see Disturbed tonight. Oh, shit. That'd be great. Uh, do we get a winner for that? All right, I'm taking the, the random caller. You seem like a good guy, dude. Joe, uh, we'll give you tickets, all right? The other bit. Thanks, Joe. And if you want to give Grey Wolf uh, any money, just go to Bellevue Bar, 9 p.m. Saturday night, 40th Street, 9th Avenue. He's going to be there playing a few tunes. We need to set up a holiday charity for these guys here. All right, Joe on uh, on line four, he's got the corro uh, the corrosion of conformity and disturbed tickets. All right? Lucky him. All right. Uh, Ooh. Allison from Jersey. Allison? Yeah. Hey. I'd love to do backup for Grey Wolf. You know how to do backup? Yeah. Give, yeah. Us, give us a little something right now. Shelter me from the pouring rain. This is my life. That's my own voice. Oh. Yeah, I need something. Shelter like... me from her voice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not right for Grey Wolf. No, no man. No. You need a big black yeah, singer, this, man. This, this just is, jiggling. A choir and behind his head. And I am telling you. <laughs> It's raining. <laughs> Shelter me. <laughs> Shelter me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the song. Look, we're watching it being performed by the master. Watching Esteban. Instrumental version. This guitar feels great. That's yeah, yours, you like man. it? I like it. A it's little. yours. Just don't I get... like it a lot. Dude, it's <laughs> yours. Well, don't go to a fucking care. pawn shop on us. No, no, we'll no, be no. so you disappointed. And make sure it doesn't get has, stolen. My You'll be blowing top of beer so bottles. That's another thing. <laughs> when I was drinking, I got the, the last guitar I had. It was stolen from me on 14 and 8. And oh, it was, see, that's going to be stolen. It was a $1,700 Johnson Acoustic Electric. Oh, the, man, give us that guitar back. That's going to get stolen. No, don't be an Indian giver now, We can, we can keep it in a closet. You can come <laughs> by any time you want to I mean, play I, it, man. I mean, any time. Let's, let's keep it safe for you. Damn. 
I just know how this is going to end. You know, this is going to be. <laughs> end up having him being dead. Do you know that I've it? tried to perform on, uh, in the, I've been making uh, performances like in the subway station on 42nd. Uh-huh. And most of the, the officers there, they're kind to me. They know that I'm working with uh, Moonies, which is music on the New York. Oh. And I have an audition so coming up, so that way I can get my permit. It was the Reverend <laughs> Sun Young Moon there. <laughs> you were a fucking Moony for a second. <laughs> a moony. Hey, you fucking Moony. He's music under the New York. A thousand couples uh, in the now, subway system. Actually, uh, they call it something, music under New York. Yeah. The friggin' guys that play in the subways and stuff. And, and um, I'm going to be auditioning. So that way I could get my 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 schedule and be part of the program. Yeah. And Mooney, he has a lot of pamphlets, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have something that we prepared as a secret, and I'm not giving it away because Juan Castillo he's preparing me to do this, uh, and we're gonna do it right. All right, cool. Listen, they don't listen. have that kind of music on the New York, and it's gonna be great to have something listen, like that. You know any John Lennon? It was 25 years ago today. Mm. Imagine? But can I you can't do magic? I Why can not? play it. I can't sing Give it. Give it a try. You can I don't try. even know the words. Oh, the words. I forgot them. Mm. No, Lord, that is if we got your lyrics, sheet, if we got your lyric sheet, could you figure it out? <laughs> Imagine. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Drew, well, 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 Drew, work your magic. I can't do that. I can't Let's see do how that good you are, Drew. That is my idol, man. You know that to okay, many of the well, people. One like, word. Well, just, like, <laughs> you know that John Lennon was like our 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 really Christ and our leader, man. He oh. just gave us so much. Do you know any uh, Beatles songs? Imagine, mm. imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Drew will just work his fucking magic. It'll be a hit. You know, I don't want to, want to do any Beatles song because, one, they were a great group. and We got and the I, lyrics, I, though, I bro. We got the lyrics. You'll, you'll make a lot of people shed a tear today if you can pull <laughs> this one off. Oh, I'm God. just thinking. Let's try it. Are you, are you copying that up? All right, we're getting the lyrics for you. Well, just give it a shot. Hold on, let us get the lyrics for you. You could uh, turn up that guitar. Do you know any other guitar. Beatles songs? The, the Yellow Submarine or Hold My Hand, anything? Yellow Submarine. Hold My Hand. Fucking uh, what the? Strawberry Fields. Yellow Submarine. I like that song. The Yellow what Submarine the? was a great song. The... Thank you. Hey, great. Hey, listen, I had a great spirit. <laughs> saying yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yoko Ono's on uh Oh God. On CNN. Ugh. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, As, <laughs> As we say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you picked the worst Beatles song. The worst. Beatles fans Beatles out there are like, what are you doing, Listen, Patrice? Grace Grey Spirit right. said to me, Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Yellow Submarine. Hey, I well, bowed to the guy I saw and Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Yeah. Oh, Great spirit go. said to me. Do you know that that song of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, it means of a person that you have, like, let's say, like, my parents, right? They went through, they were great. I mean, they were fantastic. They, they gave me everything that I needed to know, uh, even a couple of little whippings here and there, my dad. He was fast with his hands, but my mom was very encouraging to the music. She got me a guitar when I was like nine, and that same day, my father came up with a birthday cake in the shape of a guitar. Every time I asked her, the, the girl that was cutting the cake, I want some, some some soda. She comes back with another piece of cake. I ate like eight pieces of cake. I, I hate cake. <laughs> the thing was that I hate cake. I hate the cake. <laughs> The thing is you that... You came back with soda. When they, when this they is went my through knife. their 25th anniversary... I wanted a piece <laughs> of cake. This is my knife. The, the 25th <laughs> anniversary of the wedding is cake. like the uh, golden anniversary or the silver one? I don't know. I think it's like... Uh, the golden one. Why is the other homeless guy getting naked out there? What the fuck? What are you... Dude, one of your homeless guys is getting naked. All right, we're going to get to... we got to separate the home... There's homeless and then there's homeless, man. I don't yeah. want to lump the other guys in with Grey Wolf, all right? I don't want to lump in half a Hulk face with uh, the is genius that is Grey Wolf. Half a Hulk face, your friend, um, Grey Wolf? I've seen them in the streets, but I never spoke with them. Like, I met uh, one with the... Uh, 
Uh, what is that sickness called? I don't like to give names like schizophrenia. Like that. Yeah, Paranoid schizophrenia. schizophrenia. Yeah. No, no, no. What yeah. kind of sickness? No, There's a lot like, of them out uh, there. That's like something where the muscles contract and Oh, the bills. Uh, he, he told me the name, but I just all right. Well, he'll, he'll, he'll let us. Uh, he'll, now, he'll, is there homeless and it, is there like really, really homeless? Like, there, are there homeless that homeless guys go? I just, God, I damn, just he like homeless. the other guy. <laughs> the, he's hilarious when he laughs. He sounds like Beavis and Birth. They're all together. <laughs> oh yeah, so there are lesser homeless. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you, on a, a hierarchy. are you on the hierarchy of homeless? Like you're like a, a great. Are you like just you know, above living somewhere? You know that when when my mom passed away is when this hit me. I didn't cry or nothing, and then it's just like took over my life and I, I just died, took a dive into, into out of society and I lost myself for 18 years. My family kept searching for me. I didn't call. I didn't write. For almost 20 years, they didn't know about me and my whereabouts. My, my brother's a police officer and he couldn't even find me. And I was right here in the city. Just I let my hair grow. I made it into braids, put a couple of pigeon feathers in my hair, and then the, there it was, instant Indian. Pigeon feathers. My family feather. couldn't pass me by. They couldn't even great bird. <laughs> a great bird. Pigeon. <laughs> But Great now bird. I own I, I own a, a certain amount of eagle feathers given to me by the Native Americans. They have seen my re regrowth. Yeah, it was just the beginning. Great right. Wolf had right. like his eyes covered up with clay, and these feathers were the magic bird that just this is kept the most pecking into my eyes. Homeless guy and ever. made me see the, the the real picture again. And then one of them keep telling me go east. And I don't want to see you in the West. I promised six months, and I gave them four years of my life doing a rehab upstate. That straightened out my life for the better. Thank you, Keith. All right. Because that day was a magic day for me. Everything was magic. I learned about uh, what the alcohol was doing to me, and there was a counselor there. Oh, my God, he was wonderful. He also cried and lost himself into drugs and alcohol when his mother died. So it was like a perfect, how did he know my story, I said. And he was like, perfect. I stopped and spoke to him, and he just got Don't me Don't do the right this in Bellevue Bar. Like, as yeah. in, you yeah. know, you're sitting no, no, in no. between. I'm just going to play yeah. something. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. From yeah. Yeah. and hey, you know, sign autographs. Uh, and when I was a kid, I liked cheese to be in slices. <laughs> let's, let's just get. like I said, I'm going to have, like, something <laughs> right. up front there. Gray Wolf, Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf. You need an editor. All right, listen to me. We got yeah. the lyrics to imagine in front of you. I say for Lennon, 25 years ago today, you yeah, give it a shot. I if it works, it works. If it does, it, it does. Do it's it in all your own good. style. Yeah, do it in your own style, man. However, interpret, however you want. Just interpret the song today for us on the 25th anniversary. Let the okay? spirit of John it. Lennon go through you. Want to hold it up for you? In, up, no, in, okay. Cool. You want someone to hold the lyrics up for you? That's good. Oh. I can read right there. All right, here we go. Shh. I just needed to pull my glass. I'm turning old. All right, here we I go. I need to... Like a magnifying glass. Okay. Imagine there's no heaven. As easy as you can try. No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine all the people Living for today Imagine this Sorry, guys. Sorry, Johnny. I messed that up real good. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. No religions to. Imagine all the people living in the peace. That's about it. I can't do this. Part. <laughs> no, nice. I'm just a dreamer. <laughs> I'm just a dreamer. I hope John forgives me. If I get up there and then one day and he sees me, man, wherever we go, 
I don't know, because one day I had one of those experiences, and it wasn't an out-of-body thing. It was a real McCoy, and it was dark, and it was quiet. And to those who uh, last their lives in a, in a wicked world of darkness as a creature of the night, I understand, this is all we got is one life. <laughs> a little more poetry. Yeah, right. right. Well, he wrote Bring in Hulk there, face. Yeah, Bring right. in half a Hulk face. I to the all right. red between the lines. <laughs> all right, Gray Wolf. <laughs> Very, very good. We're going to have you do another Bravo. song before the end of the show. So, uh, may, is it going to try? Oh, you don't have the second half of that song no, yet. No, no, I have to. You still got to write it a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, but uh, work up something and attend the show today. Yeah, I'm going to, like, see what happens. Uh, All right. Get a uh, super get break, Keith. Yeah, to get uh, uh, Gray Wolf uh, out of the studio, uh, yeah. grab the guitar and the amp and all that, and we'll, uh, and we'll do something a little later with Gray Wolf. There he is, everybody. Bravo. Genius. All right, there he goes. Watch those headphones. There, you gotta take those off, or else. Uh... Yeah. Okay. We'll uh, we'll take a quick break, Ant. We'll talk right. uh, to half a Hulk face next. Gather around the kids. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. We're back with the Opie and Anthony program in studio. Patrice O'Neill, Keith the cop, stopped by with a few of our homeless friends. We're getting ready to interview uh, half a Hulk face, and uh, man, we're learning a lot about half a Hulk face. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, uh, all second hand. First of all, someone threw him an apple today, thinking, "Hey, man, he's hungry, right?" The guy goes, "Dude, I can't eat an apple. I don't have teeth." <laughs> Holy shit! Found that doing? out. And then we found out this other thing. He helped out uh, the uh, police once with a, an attempted homicide in a shelter. One of these uh, homeless guys went up to another one with a meat cleaver and hacked it into the back of his head, <laughs> and no one came forward except uh, except have all face. And that's when I thought, wow, maybe he had a real uh, fine face before he uh, no, no, <laughs> turned into like, a snitch. Like he was Brad Pitt, and he snitched out, and they worked him over. No, no. Uh, now, you, now, you sure? Nobody <laughs> is going to know I'm snitching. Absolutely, have a whole face. Uh, have a whole face. We've, what we've done is we've lit uh, the uh, uh, area in a special way where they can only see you in silhouette. <laughs> so they will not know who you are as you testify. <laughs> well, I saw a guy run up to him. Is that half a whole face? Nigga. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm looking behind this nigga snitching on me, right? Half his face is on. That's half a motherfucking whole face snitching on me. <laughs> How you know? Nigga, look at your silhouette. <laughs> half your silhouette is what... <laughs> You're not going to be half a Hulk face anymore. <laughs> I'm going to even out that motherfucker. Oh. You're going to be whole Hulk face <laughs> after this. <laughs> Might as well paint yourself green now, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I got to find out his story. All right, let's get him in here, man. Half face. Half a Hulk face entering the studio. Shit. There he comes. I can't, don't, don't be offended if I can't do it too long. I just comes. take a seat there, my friend. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Put on them headphones, and we got to get to the bottom of this. How you doing? Good. What's your name, man? Scott. Scott, move up to the mic just a little. There you go. Scott? Yep. Now, you're a homeless gentleman? Yeah. What happened? Um, Basically, uh, don't talk to my family. They're a bunch of bastards, so they uh -huh. can kiss my ass. Um... The only people that actually kind of helped me out are all my friends. Yeah, but, like, you had a home at some point, right? Well, I was living in California, and... Hosting The Tonight Show? Quite <laughs> I'm um, teasing, of course. <laughs> but you, you lived in California. Oh, yeah. Here comes the Photoshop. And then... Holy shit. But you had a home. Yeah. All right. Holy what happened that made you homeless? I basically, after my mother passed away... You know, basically... God damn it, a, a little advice. Mom, stop passing away. Yeah, it seems like a lot shit. of the uh, the mother thing going on a lot. So your mom passed away. Both of my sisters were older. They had their family, so I uh -huh. just packed up my things and left. And left uh, without any place to go. Well, I had a place, but then my landlord evicted me. He wanted to raise the rent, so... And you were in New York at this time? Yeah. So you just ended up evicted, out on the streets... Pretty much. And and that was how long ago? Um, two, two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. So it hasn't been that long for you? No. 
Uh, but you've been on the street the whole time since then? Off and on. I stay in a bullshit hotel paying about what? I love the bullshit. It's over there by the asshole arms. Yeah. <laughs> so you, want to, you stay in the bullshit hotel. Yeah. And what, for how much a night? Uh, it's, what, 120 a week. 120 a week? You got rats everywhere, cockroaches everywhere. So. How do you make the 120 a week? Any way I can. Yeah. You got it. Uh, Wait, let's like get into that. What side job hey, or hey, hey, nothing perverted now. What? No, I'm just asking how you make your money any um, way you can. So that um, I I I go to uh, day labor. Uh, day labor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. You get, get up enough to keep a roof over your head yeah. occasionally. Uh, what do you do in the cold? Same thing. Yeah. Just try to make enough money to stay in the hotel. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that homeless life is a bitch. That Jesus it is. Christ. Now we got to ask you what what have what kind of medical uh, anomaly uh, do it, you have going for yourself there? It's a tumor. It's a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> it's a tumor. Is it one tumor? Um, well, the predominant one's on my face. Right. But then there's other ones? Uh, smaller ones. Smaller ones. Yeah. And what are they like? Uh, can they be removed or? The one on my face, I've had, what, 12 surgeries since I was probably five years old. Get out of here. Growing up, the doctor's excuse was the reason why they couldn't take it out was they felt if they took out the whole tumor that they would uh, pinch one of my facial nerves, which uh, which would have caused me to be paralyzed. Goodbye facial nerves. Yeah, take right. Facial nerve out of this moment. And that kind of a uh, trade-off, maybe. Yeah. But as I got older, once medical science got actually better, you know, the doctors said that those nerves have been, you know, those nerves have been gone for years. Right. You, you kind of, yeah, see, because your mouth, uh, yeah. uh, so Botox, that, that nerve, anyway. the, the Botox nerve anyway. The Botox kills nerves. Anyway. So uh, w w w they could have taken it out then? Yeah, but it was it was all a money issue, which it, which it is today. It's all a money issue. They would be able to take that out? Well, yeah. If I had, let's say, two, three million dollars, easily. Two to well, three that, million. that sounds like it's pretty expensive. Well, the last surgery, major surgery I had, it ran well over close to five hundred grand. That's a five hundred thousand dollar face you got. Yep. Holy shit! And what did they do? Um, the last major one, what they did was the tumor was about maybe two inches away from my esophagus, so they had to go in there. You know, basically cut out most of the tumor, do like a, they did a skin gram on the lower part of my right leg Ow. to basically Ow. hold the skin up so that way it wouldn't affect my breathing. If I didn't have that surgery, I would have been dead already. Wow. That is some fucked up shit. What? <laughs> now, does Eric Stoltz ever call you and... Nope. Get mad that you're nope. stealing his act? <laughs> I wish the money from him, though. He stole my idea. Yeah, you don't have a map with a lot of pins on it. <laughs> Jeepers. Jeepers. Do you have Cher's phone number? <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> that must, uh, yeah, it must you be hard. You don't have someone getting ready to put some pins back in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> it's got it's got to be rough, right? You know, I walk oh. around, goddamn... Fucking yeah. kids point at you and shit. What, what is this? What do you mean? It's, it's gotta, gotta be rough. Be rough. It's it is rough. gotta be. There's That's no my question preface about it. to <laughs> seeing if how rough some, it is. If some of your hand was on the left side of the other hand, yeah. like if you had a pinky that was turned to the left off your hand, people yeah. go, "Oh, jeez, man, what the fuck happened?" <laughs> His face. It's like a broken baseball player's hand. It's, right. it's on the left. His. It's a half a Hulk. Hulk, right? <laughs> yeah. Half a Hulk. And there, and because of money issues, there's nothing you could do about it. Nope. Man. Nothing. You better be able to sing. Shit, Gray Wolf can wow. sing, and ain't nothing yeah, wrong with his face. Can you sing? Nope. No. Nah. Can't sing worth a lick. And you can't eat apple. Nope. No teeth. God. Damn. You have no teeth. What happened? Did to that the teeth? happen? Or? Um. The surgery they did last year. The surgery they want to do now is that uh, they want to take out the whole tumor. And That's a good suggestion. Well, yeah, That'd be a but, good start. Well, but the tumor will actually grow back. Why? Because, um... That, That's a chia tumor. Fucking guy got no, a tumor. You know what? Pretty much. The tumor, the tumor itself, you know, it's like, a, it's like a grapevine. The more you pluck off, the more that's going to come back. So what, the reason why they removed all my teeth was they actually got a sensor. Once they removed the tumor, 
as I got older, the tumor actually stopped, you know, caused the right side of my jaw to grow out of place. Uh -huh. So they actually got to break my jaw, Jeez. you know, uh -huh. and actually reset it so my jaw is going to be wired shut for I don't know how long. Good God. Wow. And who pays for this? Um, the the state? Taxpayers. Taxpayers? No. I don't fuck no? it, man. <laughs> Jesus, taxpayers. Hey. Pay boys pay. I don't care if taxes are going yeah, or that. That's exactly, fine by me. Man. I'd rather do, do that than some stupid program that teaches kids some stupid thing in school they ain't going to use. Yeah, man. It helps Fix the this guy's, guy's face. face is like... Damn, bro. Poor guy. What is, what's your nickname with all, the, all your buddies? They got to have a nickname for you. They call me Scott. They just call you Scott? No, yeah. come on. You, you've heard the names. What do they call you there, Scott? No, all my all my friends respect me. Yeah. You got, I mean, of course you can have some assholes who make fun of me, but not yeah. assholes. Your friends are gonna look at. If I grew up in in the hood with a face like that, yeah, they would call me, you know, twisty or or come here, give me a kiss or or you know what I mean or something, something. Twist. Hey, but that's your friends. Friends gotta tease you. I'm a fat motherfucker. People who don't call me. Yeah, I get. I get a fat joke she said today. A fat joke on me well, today. Well, well, Bombs, but I, I, mean, I, 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 you know, oof. growing up, people call me. Um, people who love you do not. Not people who go out ah, point at you, but people who go, hey man, you coming out? Just go to the club. Uh, uh, you know. My friend. Stroke. No, th those friends call me Scott. Yeah. All my all my friends treat me as a person. But you had some assholes that called oh, yeah, you yeah. names. Gr growing up, we had people that called me Logjaw, Elephant Man, you know, sh shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Which I got in plenty of fights over, you know, growing up. Mm hmm Wow. Jesus. Well, Unbelievable. That's, that's something. That is some what's that, what's story going on with the ear? The ear is part of the whole thing? Oh, well, yeah. It, you know, it caused my right ear to be disfigured. Yeah. And dropped. It's dropped, yep. too, right? Because of the fucking tumor. Jesus. I get rid of that tumor. That's just crazy, dude. And then it'll just grow back. Yeah. I, I mean, the tumor itself is hereditary on my mother's side of the family. But oh. I, but the only two people that's really affected by it is me, is me and my cousin Eric. He had he had one growing on the lower part of his back. He had two surgeries. Then the tumor bursted. So they actually had to go in there and do emergency surgery, in, you know, in order to clean everything out. Oh. The tumor burst. Jesus. <laughs> that can happen? Yep. Could it happen to you? So this is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. Ain't this a bitch? Well, you know, <laughs> you know, growing up, the doctors told my parents straight out that I wouldn't live to see my 16th birthday. Uh -huh. They figured sooner or later the tumor would kill me. I'm 31 now, so I outlived the doctor by 15 years. Yeah. Shit. How would it kill you? Just grow into your brain or something? Well, it, it, it's actually... At this point, you got to be cursing the doctor. Well, actually, it, 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 it's well. actually started at the back of the head, you know, near the brain. So yeah. it starts at the, off at the back, and it's working its way forward. So it's working its way forward. Is it eventually going to, like, take over the other half of your face or something? No. Yeah, when does it just get Just that half? Yeah, just that half. And will it go into your brain? All right, can we get the crazy guy in here? Wow. It's really yeah. starting to freak me out. Oh, that guy's dancing. <laughs> He's like fighting imaginary people like, uh, and stuff. Do you know like that guy? Quagmire no. from uh, Family Guy. Hey, giggity, giggity. <laughs> He's doing a giggity, giggity. <laughs> hey, giggity, All right, well, uh, you're going to go on the homeless uh, shopping spree? Sure. Very cool. All right, Scott. Get you, uh, uh, anything else that you want uh, people to know about would, you? Um, I hear you're very intelligent. Yeah. He's not an animal. No. He's a He's human, human being. being. Of course he is. That's right. You gonna make an appearance at Grey Wolf's uh, gig on Saturday night? Of course, should show up, sign some go. autographs. Yeah, maybe yeah some now you're famous. Money. The listeners will be out at uh, go there. Bellevue Bar, 9 p.m. Saturday night, 40th Street, and 9th Avenue. Grey Wolf's performing, and Scott uh, will be there. Good. All right, we're gonna just well, thank get, you, Scott. Let's get the other guy in real fast. Hang around though, man. You need uh, anything? You all set? All right, cool. He told you what he needs. He needs it's three million dollars for the surgery. <laughs> That's what he needs. Oh my god! Wow, the ear is stretched. Oh. I, did you see the ear? The ear's on the bottom. Tell it. It's just yeah. the Come ear on. is down on his neck. Half a Hulk is like. Whew. We got a picture for the website, of course. There we go. Hey, you're he's a happy guy. Look at you smiling and <laughs> laughing and shit. What's and, up, Jose? And the new champ at a, How you doing, boss? 113 What's up? pounds. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 
What I could tell you, gentlemen. Wow. What's your deal, Jose? <laughs> I don't got... Besides the fact that you'd probably have to shave every ten minutes. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got one of those beards. One of those beards that go up to the bottom shit. of his eyes. <laughs> My God. <laughs> he doesn't have God damn. This guy's got to shave his cheeks every day. <laughs> and now, beard. from Guatemala, the incredible dog boy. <laughs> the dog boy from Guatemala. On the front cover of U.S. News. Yeah, that was bad boy. <laughs> Jesus is coming back, and there's a Puerto Rican wolf boy. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start our own sideshow, man. We have to do it, I'm telling you. So what's up, brah? You. You? You. Now, uh, we heard some uh, uh, an interview you did. Uh, at the bus that yeah, and you were talking about things like uh, a woman, and the fact that she's fucking some other guy. Your wife. Your yeah. wife. You're right. Yeah. What's that story, man? I don't know what she is. I don't know. What you don't know she where she is. No. But she's uh, having sex with another man. Some other man. Most likely. That's, oh, that's, that's not, no good, man. That's not a big deal, is it? I have to find me another one. Another yeah, woman. To, but I'm not ready for that, you know. Yeah. You know, my situation right now is very... But you're deep. homeless. No, I don't consider homeless. No? I consider living... I like the street. I like drinking. That's what I do. That's but my label. do you have a house? No. That's homeless. No, but he chooses no. to be on the street because he enjoys the drinking. So and the lifestyle. Yeah. He enjoys the lifestyle. You're right. Yeah. Homeless, I chose this life. More. Yeah. I know what's coming to me. Wait a minute! I don't get that. That's f I understand that, man. He's he he chose to go and live out on the street, so you're not homeless because you don't. I, you I say fuck the home. He, he, he it's a long story. Let me tell that's you. That's like saying. I get what he's saying. He's yeah, that's like saying I'm bicycleless. No. I don't care. I don't want a fucking bicycle. So no one's gonna call me bicycleless. He knows the consequences of the lifestyle he yeah. wants to lead. Right. You get somebody can hurt you. You can go to jail. Uh huh. You can. What about the DJ. weather? It gets cold out at night. What do you do? I drink liquor. Drink liquor? And that keeps you warm. And he That's boxes the cold. The doctors recommend that. Yeah, perfect. It's a long story. I, I, I don't know my father. No? What about your mom? I started drinking and sniffing cocaine with my mother, too. Oh, really? It's a long story. Is your mother still I, around? I want to bomb my super spoon. Is your mother mouth. still around? I'm, I'm looking for her. Oh, you're looking? She you're got my, my social, social security. Mom? She got my... No, I don't know what she... Oh, are. you don't know your social security number? I don't know what she are. But I went to jail for three... No, so many. At the end of the day, three, mo at three months. What'd you go to jail for? Hmm. What'd you do? Long story. What'd you do? What was the charge? I was begging a quarter. Yeah. But the police charged me like sex defender. Sex offender? How do you go from asking for a quarter? <laughs> asking for a quarter to sex offender. Sex <laughs> all right, we got a story. <laughs> all right, hold on. He stuck the lady's quarter in his ass. He's like, all right, lady, take your quarter. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, now, what happened? The problem is the quarter was in her snatch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you got another quarter. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's it at? <laughs> it's under the cleaner. <laughs> yeah, now, you say you're asking for a quarter, and they get you for sex rap. What yeah. What happened? Come on, walk us through this. What bro. happened? I'll be honest. Y'all never lie. I didn't do nothing wrong. You know how. I understand. My police. You but know, what is police the po are beautiful. Let's I ask. Guess. Let me ask you, it's what did the police say you did? We know you were just asking for a quarter. What did the police say that you did? I touched the guy in the ass. Yeah. A guy? Yeah. You touched the guy in the ass. I want to touch a guy in the I don't like guys. Right. <laughs> was well, this well, in the, the so, police say you like guys. Was this in the ba in a bathroom? No, that was in Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center. Yeah, touched some the fucking one of you, you entitled know. asshole. Did he have a suit on? Some white guy with a suit? Undercover cop. Undercover oh, cop. Oh, you raped the undercover cop. <laughs> raped. <laughs> I don't like how he's looking at you, Patrice. How'd you do that? How'd you put this guy's a fucking animal? I love him. So, undercover he's cop cops. is walking around in Rockefeller Center. And he's probably looking for some people that. And he that said, I told she says. Right. You know how I went like that? Yeah, yeah. So well, he didn't charge you for pickpocketing. This motherfucker went no straight, pahando, no straight to the goddamn rape. So now, now it's not rape. It's a little bit more high. It's like nah. sex, you know. It's higher than rape. It's not rape. It's sex defense. It's like you, you like to touch people, you know. Right, oh, right. Um, 
groping, little lascivious like, behavior you know, type of shit. Lucky was not a woman, you know. But I now, be still in jail. But now you say mm -hmm. that you were asking him for a quarter. Yeah. So you said, "Hey, sir." No, he said, "I was touching him." Uh huh. In the ass. Right. Like, touching I'm a person him in the I like ass. to touch people. Uh huh. So you come up and you're like, "Hey, man, and and I uh, can I have a quarter?" But he said you touched him in the ass. Yeah, because I like seven B already. you are not drunk. Yeah. You know, not that type of label. Uh huh. I don't do stuff like that. So well, they put Keith, you. Keith, would you, if that happened, would you charge him with a sex offense? For grabbing my ass? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I didn't do this. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't okay, do okay. This. Is that the I, protocol, like? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. Wait, did he have to do a little more than grab an ass? That's what I'm saying. If I grabbed your ass, you would charge you me with a sex offense? You cop's ass. He's well, a cop. You know, you you wait, wait, wait. There's a little that's more to wrong, this. How do you get 90 that's days wrong. for that? I mean, yeah. well, not a white guy. I wouldn't charge a white guy. Far what? Yeah, if you make it fine, far enough into the taint. It was a guy. Oh, in the crevasse. See, it was a woman. It's different. It was a guy. So he turned his hand vertical. So here's what he I mean, I thought you was, you are going to give me... So he put his hand in there. As if he was shaking your hand? Right. He went shaking yeah. your hand. You were slapping the fucking ass cheeks. And let me go. Yeah, yeah. You touch my eye, I'll fuck you over and that's it. Oh, yeah, look at him go. So how do you make your I'll money? I'll you one day in whoop and therapy, that's it. How do you make your money for food and booze and shit? Hmm. What do you do to make it buck? Uh, you know, hustle. Yeah. Hustle? Because he don't seem like a but, can I have a quarter guy. He's a little, nah, little I don't too think people give you money. Yeah, yeah you're, a little a too, guy. you're a little too hostile for the yeah. public relation. Gray like, Wolf is can Gray I have a quarter. Gray Wolf is great. The Indian, the feather, Half excuse faces, me, can I get a pale quarter? face. May I have him some wampum for my... You know, he's got an act. Yeah. You, for the most part, are like, I better run away from this motherfucker. He's going to punch me. You know, so how do you make money? I do a lot of things different. I, I, I got customers. I got people that swing me my daughter. They pay me Cisco bag. Any sex for money? You do that? Um, that's it. Maybe quick suck a dick for like 20 bucks? Yeah, you want Keith to leave the studio so we can really get to the bottom of this? He's a little nervous. Yeah! All right, yeah. Keith, get out of here. Keith's look staring. at Keith looking at him all. all yeah, right, Keith is giving him the look. Like, look, we'll get the heat out of here for you, and then you can be open yeah. and honest. Yeah. That's the police. I want to hear about right, this bro? new handshake, <laughs> handshake asshole touch. That's yeah. how I'm going to greet people now. Uh, I am going to, every guy that I, I come across now, I'm just going to shove my hand I'm up and down into an ass crack. I can be what it means. Is the thumb yeah, folded you. down or, or up If like that a... thumbs up, that's a fine how you do. This, this guy is the gay Al Pacino, man. Your asshole is so polluted. <laughs> so polluted. Now, all right, so you got to turn a buck. You got to turn a buck. <laughs> So what do you do? You hustle out on the street. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe suck a little dick. You make no, what? No, I never did that. No, what do you do? Not yet. Yeah. What you 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 give up the ass? What do you no, do? No, not yet. You jerk them off. <laughs> maybe give a hand job. What do you do? And how much you get? We got they, money. They, they suck my dick. They suck your dick. Yeah. And you make money. Yeah. How does this always happen? Sometimes. Every Not guy. Every time because I look a little bit now. Every guy. Every guy. Every guy that you can says see, he. You can see he's a cutie pie though. <laughs> you can see with the shave and a and a and a. You, you can look at his. Look at him. He's precious. His eyes, <laughs> he got those puggle yeah, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> his eyes rival yours, Anthony. I'm telling you right now. He's got those puggle eyes. Very, 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 very charming little son of a bitch. He's he's gorgeous little son of a gun. <laughs> He really does look like a <laughs> Andrew Kunan like. type of field. Oh, yeah, no shit, man. <laughs> no shit, man. <laughs> so sexual favors uh, for money, a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Even girl, I find this girl, she was young, 60 years old. I take her to Ninth Avenue around Dunkin' Donut. Uh -huh. She paid the $40 hotel, make love, and she paid me too. And she want to be fucked, so you take care of her. Yeah, but she was young, I got to drop it because then the police see me. And then yeah, yeah. They see me like that, they think I'm self defender, I'm raping her or something. Yeah, uh, right, like right. You know. And just because just she's unconscious. Her, give me the money, yeah. and I drop her. Yeah. Let's see, I go on my business. What else you ever been arrested for? A few times, right? 
92 times. 92 times you've been arrested. Ya no got no felony. It no felonies? 90 days. The, mala, the mala. sex offender's got to be a felony. The, yeah, no, it's not a felony. Nah. That's got to be a felony. No. Lou, no. got one it's felony? No. The big For what? No. Assault. assault. You got no. an assault. No. You got an assault. No. <laughs> he tackled me to the floor. <laughs> Wait no. a minute, Stop. motherfucker. Did, did he give you the, the handshake uh, ass? And no. Halloween, I was in jail. He locked me on Halloween. On Halloween? Yeah. yeah. What kind of trick or treat I have? <laughs> you are trick or treat. Like in jail. Sounds like you treat. got a treat because <laughs> guys are paying for it. Yeah. I don't eat candy. Oscar de la Hoya. What? <laughs> what are most of you uh, uh In Halloween, I didn't eat no candy. Most of your arrests are what? Public intoxication? Shit like that. Disturbing the peace. A little bit of that. Right? He didn't eat no candy on Halloween, but you got a Butterfinger. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, shit like that, huh? Ninety-two <laughs> times. <laughs> How do you get out? How much is bail for shit like that? Oh, no bail for me. No bail? I know Released on his own system. recognizance? I know I'm bigger than a captain. You're what? Bigger than a captain. Bigger, bigger than a captain? Than a captain? I'm a colonel. You're a colonel. I know how to beat the system. Does he? Yep. You're a colonel. I never went to state prison all my life. I don't got no... That's not a felony. No? No. Hmm. What are you a colonel in? Well, and, and a lot of different stuff. Are you... Before uh, you see me, I already see you from the corner. I've yeah. been watching people. You've been watching? Yeah, I watch. That's mental. You I'm got, a I, I got general. Right. I can see what's... I'm right. a general. I know what's coming. You're a colonel? I'm a general. You like to call it Thursday, sweet yeah. day in New York City. Yeah. You got two call up in Midtown and the other one downtown or whatever. You got the Supreme Court too in the federal. I have uh, no right, idea. I have no clue. You're you are you're all seeing. What's that? You said you're all seeing. Like you you you, you kind of see things. things what you do know? you see coming? A lot of things. Like. See, I don't go to jail. Mm -hmm. I could be a billionaire guy. You could. The police don't bother me. Important Once you get the money, then you'll get the power. Yeah. See, the police don't bother me. I'd be a rich motherfucker. <laughs> get the power. Get the, the police power. didn't bother you. you. He'd be a, a rich, rich motherfucker. motherfucker. Yeah, I don't got to work on my life, bro. They always gonna bitch. The you, world is you yours. Lesbian. I, 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 I met the other day with police. He told me, "Fuck the cat thing. It's me now." You know. That's right, Frank. You got Frank. different kind of police, you know. So right, it's you know what a horse says, it's Frank? Good. It's a pig that don't fly straight. You That's right. A, do you know Casper Gomez? Well, some people don't the come DS out. Brothers. Don't. <laughs> My Scarface. Yeah, they all know Scarface. You see 13, 13 Prisons? That's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, Assault on 13 Assault on 13 He hates cops. Oh, you yeah. You see, he looks at Keith, right? Like, he goes, fuck those stinking beings I don't like. Except for you, Keith. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. You see, 13 Prison, great movie. I love that shit. <laughs> yes. Assault on Prison. Tell me who 13? you trust. Who you trust. Who do I trust? Your mother, that's it. I oh, trust the NYPD, <laughs> my friend. That's right. The ah, New York City I Police Department so. are nah. my Maybe friends. I put half down, I put half up. They are my friends, all of the cops. Yeah. Absolutely. I can assure you, I have never had a problem with anyone on the NYPD. They have been nothing but courteous, kind friends to me. Yeah. That's right. Hey, how would you make this money if the cops didn't mess with you? You said you'd be a billionaire. And somehow you would do Good it with question. the Port Authority. Be Game show? How would you do it? How would you do it? Very easy. Very easy, huh? What's your plan? He, huh? He'd, what? murder, he'd murder Frank. <laughs> <laughs> murder Frank, he'd I set up in his own <laughs> fucking house. <laughs> you can't easy. shoot a cop! <laughs> Who ever all right. said you was one? I love when he's shot in the gut and he's still trying. He's like, all right, look, we can deal with this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe he's bleeding out from his gut and he's still, he's thinking to himself, all right, if I get to fucking hospital, I can still be all right. I just got to deal with Tony. All right, wait a minute. <laughs> can still fucking handle this. Don't do nothing stupid. Maybe you can handle one of well, the first here. class tickets to the resurrection. To the resurrection. <laughs> yeah, the harassment. The... What happens I'll be here? You open the be outside, you go to jail later on. You open what you outside? Know, impression. What? 
He's I hear him. I hear him past the words, motherfucking crackers. He's saying it's the it's the complexion. It's the, in, the complexion for Festival. protection, motherfucker. Like you open friend. up what and you get he's arrested. Tight. He's brown. Right now. I don't got no underwear. You don't know that. I it's do know that because I heard it on the fucking yeah, tape. We know you uh, said you need underwear. Now you go on a homeless <laughs> shopping spree, you get some underwear. Because my mother, she don't wear no panties, my mommy. How do you know oh, that? Here's the How do you know that? Tight with no oh. panties. You, you know oh, something? With no panties. I'm, I'm going to tell you her. something. Did your mom's get you? Your mom's got you? Did something happen between well, you and your mom? She was racing me in Jersey City. She wore a skirt with no panties. She yeah, showed, your mother showed her you mother her, got her. His mom's got her. Your mother showed you her pussy. <laughs> his, not more than that. I used to his take showers with my mother. You took showers. All right, he his took showers. Got he got never him. get hard. Y'all you know. don't even That's see the mommy, goddamn you know. shit coming. Right, but that ain't right. Take with my my grandmother too. That ain't right. With How that, old was he? That beard? Did you How old was he? Eleven. 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 With the yeah, with that full beard at eleven. With that full beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking big beard at eleven. <laughs> mommy, mommy, I have to shave. Why do some razor, mommy? I'm eleven. I was to wash her. I see that. I see that hair. He fucking burnt out his eleven birthday candles and burnt his beard. Why did you got one down? The white hair. The white hair. The Everybody white hair. Here has to hey. change. Everybody. <laughs> I gotta change my face. We have you the. You gotta change your. <laughs> That's why we shower together. We all have to share the same razor. We don't have a, another razor. You, my little bambino, my little baby, you shave your face. I will shave my pussy. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. You shower with your grandma? Uh, shave your cooler. What did that look like, I bro? I sleep with my grandma, mommy. <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> stop. You don't you so no wonder don't he's... make him say it. He... I'm waiting to hear him say it. Now it all makes class. sense. I'd be homeless, too, morning. if I had to sleep with my Real grandma. in the morning. <gasps> what happened? And peace. Damn. And peace. And what? then the thing, they call it Spanish. I don't know how to say it in English. That yeah. It's very hard. You got words in Spanish you can never say Piss? in English. Yeah. I used to, and the moquitero. I used to sleep with my grandfather and my grandmother. And my grandfather, they're still alive. They're still alive. But I don't know where they are. They're in Puerto Rico somewhere. Wasn't that inappropriate behavior, though? You shouldn't have been in bed with them? They're teaching me good, but my mother... Did you ever see any sex going on? Never. When you were sleeping with them? Never. Did your mommy, when she showed you her uh, pussy, uh, you ever have to do anything? Never. She ever make you do anything with her? Because my grandfather, the dick don't get hard when you be more than 80 years old. Right. So the, somebody else has got to do the job. Kissing and kissing or put the finger, whatever. Or grandson or whatever. You know, when you get older, your dick don't get hard. Yeah. You well, look at him. Your do dick <laughs> don't get hard. Uh, that's why I'm here. Your dick still get hard, though, when you shove that hand in the, the fucking ass crack. Wait, he already went to the bathroom and what? And jerk off. Today? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> talking you, about, you talking about... Uh, you sex yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're crazy. Yeah, no, you got to do it. Have I you been arrested? The 92 times you've been arrested, has any been for uh, inappropriately touching a woman? No. Nah. Wait, he... Yeah, I, you I, to I see somebody shaking his head, yes. He what? went in the bathroom and jerked off? Oh, very important authority. Oh, port authority. I jerk off. Yeah. I, I get out every morning from the subway train. But give me a beer or a liquor. And that can keep me going. I feel good. You I'm think about, about uh, grandma's uh, pussy when you jerk no, off? No, no, no. I think about the, the, the woman I see in the street. So you look at these women. Then you go into Port Authority and yeah, jerk, off. jerk off. Do you ever jerk off somewhere where it's not in the bathroom? Like maybe around a corner so you could look at a woman live? And and as you're looking at it, you're jerking off. <laughs> I see them jerking off with. I the, see um, someone <laughs> nodding their head yes, and I see you smiling, motherfucker. I jerk off on the train. I jerk off on the subway. On the subway. I see them jerk off next to the dancing cowboy in Forty Second. <laughs> that feel good. That feel, you got a bottle too. The naked cowboy. No brothers, <laughs> that feel good. So so Bro, you do the property. No, don't cross the. You know, that's deadly. But if you're in the subway and you're jerking <laughs> off looking at some woman. No, no, no. I'm just thinking about Yeah, well, you're on the subway and you're jerking off and there are people there. What happens when you shoot your... There are people there at 4 o'clock in the morning. I wake do up you jerk to what tune is in your head? Tequila? Anything. Give me Johnny Wolf. So you've been arrested for pub uh, public uh, uh, what? Shit, exposure you know. for uh, jerking off? No, no, never jerking off. Never no, one off. day. 
I got All right, phone. one day you got I was pissing on the phone in the Caputo, the jerking off. Yeah, Over here, around nine, around the bar right here. Yeah. I was walking with these ladies, and they went to the bar. The guy something tells me you, they weren't walking with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I kiss women, too. Yeah. You see me, I look ugly. Let's put it like that, but I'm beautiful inside. Uh, I find Patrice seems too. to think you're very think attractive you're with a shape. On the you're too, a good probably. candidate for a makeover. I kiss yeah, women. I Don't let you. I kiss a woman. Yeah, yeah, I, walk, I didn't make love to her. I'd walk with his crazy ass down the street just to get some... Like, what? He says uh, he has uh, caught him in a dress. You wear a dress sometimes? Woman's clothing? No, whatever. You want to put me in a dress? No, nah, maybe <laughs> sometimes you've been this caught... This guy was the guy who locked me in Ah, uh, See, you got one coming to the stomach, Mel. <laughs> he yeah. to be He's gonna get day. a mail right in the stomach. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> Why you? <laughs> really fast, Sarge from Whackbag. All right, go yeah, ahead, Sarge. I'm, I'm about to lose my breakfast. This isn't tissue time with the homeless. No, <laughs> this isn't tissue time. <laughs> now, what's this? How were you arrested wearing a dress? What happened? Why were you wearing a dress? Yeah, be honest. It's all right. What in a dress? What happened? You're smiling. I know you. this happened to you. What happened? I used to put panty when I was drunk. When I was little. See, man, some, some, some fucked up <laughs> shit happened to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make him reliving. His mom's did that stuff to him, yeah. man. I used well, to put we know. my cousin panties God in Puerto Rico and jerk off. You put panties on. I played on. with a deal with my cousin. With your cousin? All right, yeah. so you and your cousin. You got a big it. This okay, is an X-Files episode. <laughs> so you and your cousin would put on panties. <laughs> And jerk each other yeah, off. Who come first? Who got a biggie? <laughs> who got a biggie? And I, I used to touch you like that. Who, you, who, who, you? who you first? <laughs> who got a biggie? <laughs> who biggie? But the dress. Why were you wearing a woman's dress? Woman's dress? <laughs> I'm looking around. Now it happened. Asking Mel. But I'm asking, what what does that do? Does that turn you on? Maybe put a girl's dress on, jerk off in it. Come on, let us know. Yeah. I might try it. Yeah, he says. Where'd yeah. you get the dress? <laughs> I gotta try shit in my life. Put on a big yeah, where'd dress. you get the dress? Where, where would you get a Where's dress? Where's the body buried? <laughs> he gave it to me. His wife. He didn't, <laughs> you he you didn't give you, you no fucking dress. You guys about to expose something. Where's your wife? Don't know. How, he knows because he's stalking there. He knows where she's yeah. at. She's dead and he wears her dress. This is yeah. Norman Yates. <laughs> Norman Yates. Or, or Norman Yates. <laughs> What's the Puerto no. Rican name? Norman. I got to talk for hours and hours. Norman Bates. Bates. Norman Bates. <laughs> it's my name. Norman Bates. Mama. Mama. <laughs> That's his fault. He only stabs women in the bathtub because he's too short to reach the top of the shower. <laughs> Bend down so I can stab you, please. All these women going out with holes in their feet. <laughs> you motherfucker, you stab my feet. I like it a lot. Uh, Mamacita. Norman, she is a puta. <laughs> no, 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 no. Norman, she's a puta. And then he, he buries in the swamp in a Toyota. <laughs> the Toyota I like it, I like and the Puerto Rican Gazette is in the back with, it with the money. I love Fucking it. Corolla with Jesus Christ stencils on the headlights. <laughs> it won't sink because the, the dice are floating. See this? <laughs> too much. Too much air in the fucking boombox speakers in the back. <laughs> The boosters. And the other people trying to still get out. And motherfucker, it's ten of us in there. Can we get out? <laughs> they find the car because 20 feet underwater, you're still hearing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. So you get I the like dress. It. Fucking speedy guns off. From your wife. Oh. Your wife finds out you like it wearing the dresses, so she leaves you, go for another guy, and you're looking for her. Mm hmm. And you're all fucked up because as a kid, you wore panties, jerked off your cousin, had to sleep with your mother and your fucking grandparents. And, and your mother showed morning. you her pussy. Was yeah. it nice? <laughs> well, did your mother have a nice pussy? Was your mother good looking? I gotta be, that's... Was your mother a beautiful woman? Oh, he's crossing himself. She's well, you 40, saw it. I was just wondering. She's 45 years old. She had me when she was 13 years old. Imagine that. Holy shit. She she's had you young. When she was 13. 40, 45. So I'm she was. Years old. So you, you were 11 when she showed you uh, when she lifted up her dress and showed you. No, when did she have me? No, when did she show you? You said she lifted up her dress and you saw her. Uh... No, she. My mother would. I take a shower with my mother. Yeah, you took a shower. How old were you? Thir 
young. 13 like 13? 13. She's like 26 years old. And she's 26? Well, was she pretty? Was she a pretty woman? No. I was no. Young. Was your mother she pretty? ugly? No, no was your mother was Your mother was pretty? So you're in there, and would you would you get... Would Wait till about the sun. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Don't don't go anywhere yet. Hello. Would you get a hard on? Would you get a hard on showering with your mother? Huh? Would you get a hard on showering with with your mother? Never. You were thirteen. She's naked in front of you. Hot little twenty six year old Puerto Rico. Oh God. <laughs> Why would she need to do that? Find me. Don't shower. Any Puerto Rican women out there who are showering with your sons, don't. Stop it. Call my, Patrice O'Neal. My O'Neil. girlfriend's a lesbian and I'm a hunk of shit. Call me You'll before be showering over. with your kid. Let's go to uh, George in New York City. George? Yo. Yo. Yo, doesn't he sound like Speedy Gonzalez's cousin, Slowpoke Gonzalez? Yes, he's very sweet. Okay, Speedy, why don't we jerk <laughs> each other off these so, And before, when he was going, I, you know, I need money, I, I go to... Hey, Frank, if you need pay, you have problems. I go to the street, I hit a milk here, a milk here. <laughs> you, you're going to make fucking deals for me, Tony? <laughs> Yo, I'm out. Peace. Peace. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy now. I'm the bad guy. All right, well, Jose. Uh, Jose, you're a very interesting character. Yeah, we got some great homeless people this year for the homeless shopping spree. And you'll join us for the homeless shopping spree. We take down the mall, all we ask give you a shitload of money, and you just go shopping and for all, shit you and, need. And all we ask is that you don't jerk off in the middle of the mall. No jerking no, off we're trying to sacks. do something nice for you. No, go to the no, uh, yeah. no, you have no, to take no him jerking sh- off in the bathroom. You have to take him shopping in the Hannibal Lecter cart. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to go, okay, doors on the way there. We'll put him on a- <laughs> Xbox, please. Fucking muzzle and a hand truck. <laughs> <laughs> and don't leave your don't Abu leave your Yuta. ball playing. <laughs> oh God damn! That great. I could use some socks. <laughs> I need some underwear. Uh, I could use some razors. I didn't have no liquor yet. And so, oh, some liquor. If you had liquor, had liquor. All right, here, here. We got Chris in Missouri. Chris, go ahead. Good morning, fellas. Hey. First time caller. Proud to be on the show. Patrice, you rock. Thank yeah, you. Definitely, he does. Uh, anyway, dude, what nobody's making a reference to is this is a little Latino bad boy Bubby. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, bad boy, bad boy Bubby. Yeah, bad boy Bubby had sex with his mom in that movie. Good boy. Yeah, exactly. He's such Thank a good you. boy. Oh, All right. Oh, wow, you have had a uh, really fucked up life. That's something. Yeah. Oh, how did you That's how did you unveil else. that? That is just too creepy. But I feel good. Nothing hurt me. That's fine. Body. That's yeah. the most important thing in my life. Nothing hurt uh-huh. me. Uh huh. It's not on the day. You're getting a lot of, in jail. You're getting a lot of fights out on the street? You're getting a lot of fights out on the street? Nah, I never no? no? I am getting another nodding of yes. You throw the fists around a little bit. Nah. Maybe you get a little booze in you. Nah, no fight. Yeah, you, you right. get into a couple of brawls. <laughs> see, I got to fight. I got to see somebody try my life to kill me. Then right. you fight. And then I got to do All right. what I got to let's, do. Uh, let's hear it for Jose. Yeah, He's going to join us for the homeless shopping spree. Jose. <laughs> That's nice. Bravo. Bravo. You gave some good, good radio job. today. Real quick, you want to do any of your math with them? You do some math? It's very... What kind of math are you talking about? Like the questions you asked on the train when we were coming over here. What kind of question I was talking about? About the math. You don't remember? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you the hard math. All right, give me How many seconds is in half an hour? How many seconds in half hour? You don't know. You lost already. What? Give us a chance to think about it, fucking uh, think. Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> that's why. That's why he's, he's in the shower with his mother. He didn't even think about it. You want to take a shower with me? Okay. I'm in the he's in half an okay. hour. Mm. They don't know that. Uh, and that's why, like me. Sixty seconds a minute. Oh, he got Eighteen hundred. Yes. Jesus. Why take a long time? Because we were. Because I didn't know it. But if you ask me again, I'll well, have the. Qu- I'll have it in a second. <laughs> All right, give us another one. That was ask a little... me that. Ask me that question again. Go ahead. Okay. This, I guess it's different Just add, no, ask me the same question. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. In 15 minutes. Okay. No, ask me the same question. 15 minutes. Ask me the same question. 15 minutes. No. 900 minutes. I'm, yeah. I want the same fucking uh, question yeah. so I could go 1,800. 100 seconds, not minutes. 100 seconds. All right, give us another one. <laughs> Jose, give us another one. Come on. We got Elo outside the studio. We got to get him on the radio, so we got to move on. That's why I was trying to Uh-oh. get to break. But go ahead, ho- real fast. One more. One more. Go ahead. 
All right, listen, we, we don't have a second. Okay, 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 let's go. Give him a break. His uh, mama raped him. Let him finish. <laughs> All right, that's let him finish. Let him finish. All right, let's Whatever go. he wants. God damn it. Let's go. Okay. Throw me this three station and pour authority. I'm not talking about the Holland Tuner. Say that again. Throw me this three station and pour authority. The three stations in Port Authority. I bet you you don't know. What What are the three stations? I'm not talking about the Holland Tuna. You're not talking about the three stations. You don't know that. What is what's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Look at how dramatic it is. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. I told you, you that. You don't know that. Right, what is it? The big Port Authority. John Square. Port Authority and Newark. Damn, that's there good. There you go. Damn, that, I mean, come on. I didn't know that. That's right. You don't know about life. That's I right, know. Frank. Drew Boogie can put that to mute. I know. All right, all right. You're going to tell me the police. How <laughs> many police? work this out. Uh, Wait a minute. All right, Jose. Let's, uh, let's get Jose out of the studio. we got to take a break and get uh, Elo in here. Ah. We'll, we'll get some XM. The, the, the Russian. The Russian. Right yeah, here. Maybe you can handle one. Of, why don't you hand yourself one of those first class tickets? To the resurrection. To the resurrection. <laughs> Greatest Scarface quote of all time. Um, are we still there? Yeah, we're still there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This is how Greatest, Star <laughs> Greatest Scarface quote of all time is, fuck Casper Gomez and fuck <laughs> the fucking Diaz brothers. <laughs> fuck them all. <laughs> Bury those cockroaches. There you go. In honor of Jose, <laughs> I Christmas. Jose. I don't know. We got Brother Joe's... Uh, Police Half got my car. face was like, I, I, you can use me. He, he didn't have a, as good a story as... Yeah, but... No, he just needs man, the, the, uh, the, the face. It's all going to be yeah. about half a Hulk face after the show when the the fans and listeners go to the websites. Did you, to get, see did his you get his ear and his face? We got the whole mess. The whole Picasso face, the man. Whole oh, medical, the Jesus. whole medical examiner's face. Holy crap. The whole CSI shot of... Half a Hulk. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Call Maury. We got his next show. Sitting in our hey, lobby. Hey, you are a special guy. <laughs> All right, here Maury. we go. Here's Brother Joe's Christmas song. It looks just Jose. like a Maury. Hey, man, you want to go out and get a beer and burn <laughs> All right, we're running out of show. Patrice O'Neill in studio doing a great job for us. He'll be back tomorrow as well. We still haven't played Gangsta Fag for you. Someone remind us tomorrow morning, nice and early, before we get into all the craziness that we need to play that for Patrice tomorrow morning. Gray Wolf, he has an update. Remember that song, that the Shelter Me song, and there's two lines that people don't know about? Gray Wolf, really fast, because we got to get to Elo. Yeah, but. those two lines it says when the cop says, um... Uh, you smell bad. Yeah, get out of here. It's all it says, and he says... Don't you know I got an angel? And the angel said, shelter me from the pouring rain. Those Damn. are the lines. So it was like, you know I got smell an angel. bad. Here's the melody. You smell bad. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't you know I got an angel? <laughs> like, he might smell bad and be completely alone, and the cops treating him like shit, but hey, <laughs> hey he's, he's got, got an he's angel. He's got someone yeah. looking after him, man. There's somebody there Damn. with him. There's always somebody above. Smell yeah. bad, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, That's maybe the best uh, genius <laughs> line ever. That's right. That's it's better than mama said knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> too legit to quit. <laughs> it's too legit to quit. Mama said knock you out, and hey, you smell bad. Get out of here. <laughs> But you know I got an angel. But you know I got an angel. That's genius, man. He's my he's my new favorite guy of all time. All right, Wolf. You're going to get together with Drew Boogie and do the full song soon, right? Yeah. We got to pray well, just to as, make uh, it today. Put it together, we'll really all right. And Gray Wolf will be appearing at Bellevue Bar, 9 p.m. Saturday night, 40th Street and 9th Avenue, okay? Great. We got Eric Logan. Thank you, Gray Wolf. We got Eric right. Logan in studio. Oh, Patrice and Eric um, comparing phones. Both technology this. That's nice. Got a little, you know. What do you got there, uh, Elo? Oh. Uh, this is just the new BlackBerry. The <laughs> new BlackBerry. We saw that yesterday yeah. on our tech portion. Someone wants to. Oh, that's, that, he had the huh? singular one. This is oh. the T-Mobile. This is singular. The singular. Oh, did, did you? you didn't, there's an 8700. Yeah. That's. That's not the 8700. No, this is, this is the newest one that you can get. You can't buy the 8700 yet. Ah. You can't even get the 8700. How the hell did he get it? Well, because he's a tech guy. He's a tech, tech guy. guy. Oh, you know, he's oh, got to preview that shit and, and uh, write up the reviews and stuff. How's oh, that working okay. for you, that black card? Yeah, you send that over here. Good stuff? The lights off. Yeah. I know, believe me. I don't know what I spray it all the time. It was unbelievable. It's, it's <laughs> we, we interviewed a lot of homeless people. 
We had <laughs> don't we, be afraid to hit that fan. <laughs> we had guys with tumors leaking, and I mean, we had all sorts of shit happening. Oh, I, was I was wondering why Anthony was wearing a biohazard suit. <laughs> uh, well, I wear that every day. That's right. <laughs> every day I have this on. You never know what's going to crawl around on you. So person. we almost had Pat O'Brien on the show today. Yeah, I saw him this morning actually. And I got to tell you, Elo. Uh, I know you have to ask the question. Yeah, we well, couldn't. people, uh, come, uh, Ben come, comes running in. And he goes, "We could get Pat, uh, Pat O'Brien on the show within five minutes because the whole Grammy nominations yeah. happen instantly." We're like, "Oh, this is great." This okay, is great. All right, you got to promise you're not going to ask him about the tapes. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> All right, well. it went from great to this sucks because we know we just can't. He listens to the show. He, he just doesn't want to go there. I mean, he's he's a friend of mine. He listens to the show. Uh-huh. In fact, when I saw him. God, I talked to him after he came back on the air. He he specifically the second thing he said to me he goes, well, hopefully your boys had a good time with my audio. <laughs> well, I'm glad we can make him happy because we had above and beyond a good time. I told I told him he made the uh, first anniversary T-shirt on the yeah. top left listing. That's, that's right. Too. But the only people who uh, he's a hero oh, in yeah. some circles, yeah. like you just go, man, you some, let me, let me like, work. He's on just it. a genius. Let me work. You know? That so, guy also got through it with. Nary a problem. Oh, shit. The guy got his job back. Oh, geez. he's still hobnobbing with the celebrities. It, it's one of the highest rated shows. The yeah, it was. His ratings no, were like insane. Yeah, no big good, scandal or like anything. Marv Albert. You can't get rid of. How mm-hmm. can you get rid of Marv Albert? There's no one else good. You can't. So it's like to be that good, you have to have some type of creepy problem. When you're that Let good, me work you can get away with some yeah. shit. Work on him a little bit. Work on him a little bit. All right, cool. All right. So we, we may get... need to make him a regular contributor to the show. Right. What was. We well, survived the latest crisis. Yeah, our listeners uh-huh. are very curious. Um, why, why I'm actually in the studio for how a, close for an 11 o'clock meeting? How close uh, were, were we? <laughs> well, listen, I, I can certainly tell you. Friday at about 4:30, uh, it certainly uh, pretty close to it the was, lip. It was. Uh, we certainly saw that cliff again. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know how you drive up to that cliff and you look down at that giant canyon and you're wondering, well, where's the bottom? Oh of that? no, we so, made it to the other side, unlike Evil Knievel. Yeah. We so we gave a little juice to get over the snake good river thing. It was well, very I, good. I'm actually in town today to uh, do a few meetings today. If you little, know. Um, a little uh, cleanup? Uh, a little he, mindy. He's going to be uh, mopping a little, a little bit more. He's the guy that goes into the apartment after the shooting and <laughs> yeah. has to <laughs> cut <laughs> the pieces out of the carpet. and right. <laughs> Harvey Keitel. <laughs> clean the way he's at yeah, Harvey Keitel. That's who he is. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just shoot and kill, and then we move on. And <laughs> My name's Elo, but you can call me the wolf. <laughs> we got the uh, wolf. Elo will be, uh, be cleaning up our mess all day today here in New York City. Yes. Uh, I, I have I have been for the last three days. The uh, now pretty please pull the fucking promotion. <laughs> it was started off with maybe we should hold it, maybe we shouldn't, uh, maybe we should yeah. let it rest. Uh, kill it. Uh, yep. I think they had to keep us just because the banner is on Madison Square Garden. Yeah, that contract that would have looked year. real silly <laughs> if our big banner they fire us and there we are on the side of Madison do you wanna, Square Garden. Do you want to know something very true? When I taped The Apprentice, we did that back in May. Mm-hmm. And I said to my wife, I go, you know, I, I at least have a job through the airing of the show because they can't get rid of me, right. you know, before the show airs. Right. That would just be silly. Yeah, sure. true. It would be really yeah. silly. Now the show's aired, I'm a little dicey. you got to keep the, the something going where you have a little job security. <laughs> That's right. They probably built something into that fucking banner knowing these guys that if we fuck up, they just pull it like a shade <laughs> on a window <laughs> shade and it goes, it just rolls up. Yeah, it's Bob Edwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Bob Edwards is right behind it. <laughs> who's the they that can get rid of Eric? Who can? Who's the they that gets rid of you? There's a board, right? Yeah, there's a board, and, and my boss is a guy named Hugh Panero. Oh, there is a him that can get oh, rid yeah. of you. him. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm junior him. Can't the You're board, him. Yeah. Can't oh, the him board even get rid of Hugh? Like, hasn't it reached well, that point? Well, it's a public company. You know, it's a public company. Right. Yeah, he's a contract. Yeah. You know how these companies work? The guy that invents the shit. The guy that, like, dedicated his life to making something. Gets to a point in companies where the board members could go. I don't like his uh, way he's running this anymore. Oh, yeah. And they vote. How many votes? Are there? I, 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 boom, I, I, and you're I, gone. I, I, yeah. You're out on your ass. And, and you were the, the one, one that, that started came up with it. it. Could be called Patrice O'Neill Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> boom. Goodbye, you're Patrice out. O'Neill. I'm out of my own company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. And that's what they do. They turn around and go, wait, what? See, and you were complaining that you didn't know how it worked. Aren't you glad you don't know? I, I really don't know how it works. That's, good. that's like, how it here's works. Here's what I learned I didn't do, but I learned this in, in White World. <laughs> that this is, it's like we have to meld white back. White people stand up when they say hello and shake hands. I keep forgetting that if you don't stand up to shake a white guy's hand, he goes, what's wrong with this fucking asshole? I don't know if you're a lazy. It's just, and that's what it is. I, I'm like, hey, what's it's happening, shipless. baby? Good to see you. Why, why should I squeeze out this motherfucking chair just to shake your hand? I right. give you love, yeah. pat on the back from up here, from, you know. But is that black guy or big guy? But That's black guy. Black people don't go 
<clears throat> Good to see you. I mean, we give the, the black handshake sitting down or wherever we are doing. Yeah, yeah. But I forget, white guys get up Listen, and... Listen, we'll continue that back. tomorrow because we got one minute left. And oh, and, shit. And by the way, I, I want to lose Elo. I, I will tell you this. There was speed uh, round here. Let's uh, go. Speed round real quick. You know, the article this morning, I thought, just to simply put, was absolutely perfect. I thought they framed the story the right way. Yeah, so. we like uh, Huff. Yeah, Huff we, made, uh, we made the Daily News today. Huff did a nice job with that. Really big article on Opie and Anthony and the nope. assault on the media <laughs> thing that happened. No, it just look. I mean, it got out of hand. I think the we had some overzealous fans, and you know, never had the intent. And, and you guys made the right decision, and uh, we had to stop. So, mm. oh yeah, it was a yeah. decision. It certainly was decision. <laughs> yeah, you call it a decision. That's cute. It's, it's a decision. decision. <laughs> Keep doing the assault on the media. No paycheck it's comes to your account. It's cute to call oh, it a what decision. What a great corporate <laughs> meeting choice <laughs> right from this whole shit. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 Decision. You guys, what decision you guys. did you have? <laughs> right. We're gonna keep doing it, motherfucker, even without a radio show. <laughs> That's right. uh, I love that. These corporate Everybody guys. Everybody has choices, Patrice. Shit, yeah. what shit? That was a hell of a decision we had to make. <laughs> decision. So, is it a decision if there's only one decision? <laughs> no, you have one choice. answer. You know that check that comes Damn. in? Put your name on it. That won't come in no more, but you decide you want to do this. And a company can decide not to send it. Right. Well, 10 seconds. What do you got? Uh, I just uh, I want to thank all the, the pests and the fans who have emailed me. I think there's been 380. All of them are great, and I've replied to virtually all of them. All right. More tomorrow. Yeah, with tomorrow. Patrice O'Neill, everyone. Program complete.